Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Silver Potato. His name is Rhapsody. We're back. We're in slipways. Let's get ready to get a brand new high score. That's right. It's time. Oh, I'm always ready for a brand new high score. We've got it this time. So, who? What? What's your? What's your pick? What's your? What's your pick Dando. today? <laughs> all okay. right. Uh, I, I was kidding. I was kidding. Let's, okay. Let's all just right. have a look at the perk selection. I want to kind of go around there. All right. Hmm. Okay. Ah. These are not extraordinarily exciting. Gene breed. Mm. I, I, I feel like there, there's a lot to be said about like transforming planets. I feel like maybe we should try and do mm. that at some point, you know? Because there's um, there's I can't remember what the action is that the the Bakar have, but mineral seeding here, Bakar definitely have an action. That might be kind of fun. Well, it's it's mineral seeding for Bakar as well. Is it mineral seeding for Bakar too? Mm-hmm. Um, I, we talked about this on a relatively recent episode. I say relatively recent because there's been a little bit of a break, but uh, what we'd mentioned at the time was we want to try and have a way to utilize projects on the planets that we establish. We want mm -hmm. to have a way to utilize uh, the planets you can't usually utilize, your ice ball, your desert, your molten lava, etc. Um, uh-huh. I say etc. I don't think there are any others that, that fit into that same realm. Uh, uh -huh. We want to have an idea of how to handle our money. We want to have an idea of how to handle our research. And it seems to me that currently, the only way we're currently really being offered to utilize those excess planets is mineralize in Vittori. Uh, not Vittori, in um, Silted. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, the alternative option is just to... <laughs> just to refresh the selection uh but i mean that's a it's a little cheaty I, i'll grant you that. that 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 is that is possible but here's something i think you might be really interested in and uh -huh. a way to utilize silver in that way is aphorian currently has well prepared as one of their perks for the plus 40 credits at the very start and they also have xenotourism right so maybe, because a Xenotaurus planet, a Taurus planet wants a person, but then it wants a bot, then it wants it well, or then it wants a good, then it wants a bot, then it wants a microchip. So mm -hmm. what it really wants is a lot of things that are made out of ore, which you get from mineral seeding, right? So maybe what we use is instead of using the excess early money from well-prepared to set up an early lab, uh, although we kind of do need to do that to get to Xenotaurism, so we'll have to figure out like a, a, a halfway metric somewhere, but... Maybe we use that early boost to try and get a Xenotaurus facility up really early and then ball out of control in terms of money allowing us to do anything. I don't think that's a bad idea, actually. I think, yeah, focusing on, like, an initially, like, really tight system to give us a whole bunch of money, maybe parlaying mm -hmm. into Xenotourism would be would be really kind of cool. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, do we want to do we want to keep Vittori here or do we want to swap out somebody else? Well, let's 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 have a little look. Let's have a, a okay. we. Gander at something else, because it is worth noting that Bacar, should Bacar get the right tier two advancement, will have solar farms, which we can then put on all of the mineral planets that have been created from all of the garbage ones, which is a lot of access to energy. Although we don't have the Bacar energy broken perk. Yeah, that's what I was that's what I was hoping for. The one that is gonna be nerfed, which is kind of sad, but hey ho. Mm. Although yeah. Picard does have delivery of ore is giving us six, right? And if we're mineral yeah. seeding and delivering ore and doing xenotourism, hey, maybe that's a really, really good combo for us. I wouldn't be entirely sad to go with this across the board with miners as the final perk. But let's have a look at the other options. Hmm. Well, Dender's also there. Dender's not bad. Dender's not bad. Ooh. Again, like I feel like if we don't go for Dender... And that doesn't give us the late game, you know? Like, I feel like... I feel like our mm. play style has expanded to the point where in order to get, like, a truly bonkers score, we need Dander late game for the chance of getting, like, a happiness tech. Mm. Potentially. Okay. I, I'm not entirely against it because we are going to need the people to go into the Xenotaurus facilities. We're also going to need the people 
to go into the mineral places so that they can actually create the minerals that then go over to Forge Worlds to then go to the Xenotaurus facilities afterwards. Possibly even into uh, not artifact trading because we won't be able to take both of the Euphorian perks, yeah. um, but possibly into remnant planets to also cart that along to possible Xenotaurus facilities. I'm I'm very heavily invested in the Xenotaurism plan. Maybe I'm yeah. over invested in that though. I mean, we can we can adapt. We can adapt like a like a chameleon. It feels like. Every it feels like every time we adapt with regards to Xenotourism, we adapt by stopping doing it. <laughs> yes, not doing it. I agree. I agree. It would be good to try and do it. I think, that, you know, there's a lot of money to be made in Xenotourism. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's always money in the banana stand. Uh, so we got to just... Exactly. Maybe, you know, maybe we go for Vittori. We haven't actually done much Vittori in a while. Extra Strong. level two, extra level two tech. That would be kind of poor. More because... likelihood of getting hyperdrive and sorry to talk over you. More likely no, of getting yeah. hyperdrive and the mineral, the miniaturization tech. Yes, because miniaturization tech is two, right? Miniaturization tech is mm -hmm. two techs in order to get the. Maybe we go for that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not against okay. it. All right, let's do it. Let's. Good vibes. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, Let us slip these ways. All right. There we go. Okay. So we got a four banger. Got a four banger. You got a five uh, banger between those two, I think. Ye... No, between the two that you outlined at the very start. Yeah, five banger yeah. there. Good, yeah. good shout. Five banger there. Pro yeah, five banger there. So we have one five banger there, one five banger here. Maybe that's the best play How about, actually. So you've got the one up to the top right. I think to the bottom right, you also might have another five banger. You're and right. those two five bangers are next to each other. So you've got a 10 system from two scans. Oh. All right. Oh, that's exciting. That is very exciting. Okay. And then. God, I just can't wait until the I can't wait until pulsing gets turned off. That's genuinely going to be so mm -hmm. momentous. Okay, so we will we know doing? the times in slipways as BP and AP yeah. before <laughs> yeah. pulsing and after pulsing, of course. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, okay. So mines. <sighs> I mean, there's nothing that we can really do with these mines at all, actually. Not yet, but don't that look like a great place for a lab? It does look like a great place for a lab. It looks like an absolutely spectacular place for a lab. In fact, looks could you really pop good. down a lab just temporarily to expand our search down in that area? Okay, there's, there's, there's a four and a three across. It's not terrible. Hmm. Yeah, not terrible. More stuff over here, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. I like that. Uh, hold on, I'm just going to... Pump up the beats just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, do we want to do we want to explore this? I mean, there might be a f five banger here. If you can find a five banger there, I would love it. That's a oh, five banger. Thank yes, send it. That was the ideal. My God, this is very curious, actually. Okay, so my in my instant instinct is that what we're looking at right now is a gift. It is a gift, but it's at the end of a puzzle room. Yes, very much so, because there are there there is a there is a way. There's a way. Yes, there's a way. Yep. <laughs> there's a will. There's definitely a will. I can tell you that much. And there's definitely definitely a way. I mean, Ooh, this is it's definitely connectable. So there's definitely a chance to supply it's everything. It's connectable to everything. There's definitely there's definitely a route. So we're in April, which does mean we have the time to colonize two areas and connect them. Yeah, I mean, one of these is becoming From... a colony, right? It's like one of these is becoming a colony for sure. Yeah, we need people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just which one. So, throwing some stuff at the wall. Yep. Uh, we cannot make Xenotaurus facilities on swamps. We can make them on ocean world, jungle, and earth-like. 
Right? Correct. So both of those are swamps, which make them ideal colonies for us. Mm -hmm. They also both have remnant facilities very, very nearby. So they can trade a person for a uh, for a uh, microchip instantaneously, right? So that's a two-way trade between that and a colony. Yep. Now, there's a remnant planet between the two if we wanted to turn both of them possibly into colonies. Um, that's maybe a possible plan. It really depends on what's over on the other side of the colony. Um, yeah. But then we have to find out a wheat plan. And how do we get wheat out of the situation? Well, we can either get it from a swamp by putting a bot inside of the swamp, or we can get it from the monoculture farm, but then we have to find the way to get the uh, extra biomass for the bioculture farm. Yeah. So there is while th there's yeah. no biomass. There's no biomass coming here, basically. Mm. Unless we well, I mean, actually, there can be, like the breeding yeah. program will do it, but then that would make the uh, the Arctic facility, I guess, the one in the top right, yeah. would then become a colony. Hang yeah. on, can that actually connect to the uh, to the swamp? No. Oh, well, actually, hold on. It might it might be able to if we. Uh... No, just out of range. Why? Because like, if that was a breeding facility, that could actually pop it into the primordial as well as the arctic, and then just connect the primordial and arctic, and you have a three closed system, everyone's satisfied, and we're just getting excess everything. Yeah, and the benefit is that we're also able to tickle the asteroid as well. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, I, you know what? Definitely, these two planets are actually going to be kind of key too. I think, as much as I hate. Sorry, it. could you? Uh, I, I actually don't have your mouse on the screen this time, so if you could just... Sorry. There we go. These, these two planets are going to be very Agreed. key, uh, I think. Maybe it's worth scanning those before making any judgment, but I also kind of feel like maybe we should just, like, get a colony down, you know, this year. Do we have eight months left? We are in April. We have nine months. Okay. If we can get a three-banger over with those two on the left and one in the north... I'm yeah. uncomfortable with that. That'll that gives us enough of the lay of the land that I think we should be able to. I mean that that really is a four bang, out. but I think that is the play. It, it is, yeah, exactly. But we can get a four bang with that to the north on a later year if we really want. Uh, that. That's that's actually not bad because we're gonna need robots we... here anyway, and robots give biomass. That is bad. That's terrible. I'm sorry. I no, yeah. actually, hold on. Wait, that's that is fine actually. It, it at least means that this can be a colony relatively easily. If the wheat's come, mm. if the wheat comes from the robot, I don't love it, but it's mm. it's it's not bad. Could you pop a lab down in the bottom left, please? Mm. Yeah, They're a bit further it, out than I would like. Yeah. And no, I mean, there's what one strong signal down there. Two, three. Four strong signals, the rest are weak, or the rest are medium. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, assuming that we just go for one colony right now, because we'll have to prioritize mm -hmm. getting one of the colonies up and running, which one do you prefer? Let me check. Uh... I mean, there's, well, three potential options, I guess. This one technically could be. Hmm... So that one actually kind of does excite me, but the main reason for that is because the uh, the upper left has the forebear ruin that we would be able to connect it to. Yeah. And that'd be like a relatively early forebear ruin. But again, we don't even know what our missions at the start are. Yeah, it's true. It's <sighs> very true. I, I can't see a realm where we have a, a, a colony well supported by the end of this year. Right, that's just not going to happen. We can only connect one input, and all of them need more than just one thing. Would this make us profitable? That would make us profitable, and we're mm. able to do it by the end of the year. And it's the closest one to what I want, definitely, yeah. because then that can also port out the uh, out to the left to the other lab if we really want to do that. That's we would just not... need to find some wheat. That's not bad. Maybe yeah. we don't even maybe we don't even try and mess with these planets yet. I mean, we know that they're there. We know that they're good. This is all gonna this is all gonna help. I mean, in fact, this is prime candidate number one for uh, Xenotourism, right? If this is eventually set up as a colony, yeah, then um, 
yeah, I mean, robots, goods. What else is it? Microchips. I think we might might be pretty close to having everything that we need for Xenotourism there. Uh, we would need something funded from the other side, just because that remnant lab's not going to be able to reach the yeah. jungle, so we're not yeah. getting the microchip from that. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's that is a prime opportunity, which means the next thing we need to think about is how we get our research down. But I, yeah, I do like sure. the scan that you noted just before the five bang into the south of that. Yeah, I think for the for the end of the year, that's not a bad play because it allows us to mm -hmm. allows us to get missions relatively unimpeded going into the next year. I think. Is there any? Love it. Totally agreed. Maybe a better one. That that is two high sources. That's the only. Oh, that was close. Uh, well, I mean, that is the two high sources. The first one you located was two high sources, two medium, and one low. The second one you located was two low, one medium, two high. It's true. It's true. You never want to go too high. All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. That's also like. Prime Xenotourism. Prime Xenotourism, my dude. People. It is, but we are going to have Chips. to make wheat somewhere. Yeah. Which is less good. I'll grant you. All right. Should we... Yeah. Missions? There's there's no there's no revisions from this point. I don't think we've not... We've not done much to revise from, to be honest, so... Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's see what we got. Okay. Goods production. Robot production. Remnant planet to successful. Hmm. Hmm. Is what I've got to say about that. Uh, okay, I have a plan. It might be really dumb. Reel me back in if it is. Okay. So we take Vittori and whichever of the other we think we can finish the fastest. Probably Silford because we're going to have to try and make wheat. Right? And then what we do next level is take Vittori and whatever other thing we think we can complete, that doesn't really matter at that point. We finish the second level Vittori mission, getting ourselves eight research, and that yep. eight research gives us Xenotourism. That's hilarious, and I freaking love it. Oh my god, no lab? This is, dude, this is legit. Um, we get to skip the whole early lab, and then when we're starting to make so much money that we can just make labs, we can make labs. I think it'll be I think it'll be this one. I think it'll be the Euphorian one. Yeah, the Euphorian is definitely going to be because that's only one planet, right? Otherwise we have to successful a uh a, a, yeah, a producing exactly. planet for or get bots. to or get to, yeah, for sure. Although Microchips are here. Microchips are here ready to rock and roll. Mm-hmm. They are, but the the point where the bots factory is producing four bots is it's prosperous, right? Not it's successful. Yeah. It would be successful if we had the silted thing that produces an extra bot every single time you make bots. I'm just going to see real quick. That gives us Perfect. four income. That might straight up be worth maintaining just for cash. So, yes and no. The, the flexibility that we're losing there is that that now has to be the way that we get biomass for that planet. And yeah. if that's the only way we can get biomass for, uh, or rather that's the way that we get wheat for the swamp, which means that's what needs to get biomass. If we get really limited and can't give that biomass later, uh, it, it makes life a lot harder. Also, it it's a source of wheat that only connects to one colony. Um, we it might want a source of wheat that ca uh, connects theoretically to two possible colonies for us. It would be it would be two, if this swap. Oh becomes a colony. wait, it can connect across there. Yeah, it can apparently. Oh, okay. I'm I'm way more on board with it now. <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not super on board with it though because I mean you do make a good point. I mean it would probably connect up to that one. Probably connect up to that one. Maybe just. But yeah, it depends definitely. if that's a biomass. It's a it's a toughie Could actually. You... Could you tell us if that uh, that Arctic creates biomass at all, or is it, it just the water? It it only yeah. consumes, yeah. But it's something that wants biomass as well. It, wait, hold on. We so we found actually... a swamp out to the right. Gene rewriting hmm. biomass. Yeah. Oh no, we got gene rewriting. I knew we had yeah. something that consumed biomass. We got nothing that gives us biomass here. No, nothing. Solar superconductor, mm. extreme miniaturization, good stuff. 
Solar? I didn't know that Vittori. I did know that Vittori gave you solar superconductors. That's pretty cool, mm -hmm. actually. That's very yeah. cool. That's the Flex reason we wanted to take Bacard. It's here in our complete other strat. We've got That's hyperdrive, cool. we've got flexible fabrication and extreme miniaturization. We've got mind control. That that could wheat. be our late game. Dude. Yeah. That's 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 wheat, right? Like we definitely take wheat here because then we just mind control it. I mean, if we don't mind control it, then it's going to be a terrible run it, anyway, and so we've got nothing to worry about. It's it's in worst case we can mind control it. What sleep replacement? Oh yeah, uh, that's the that's the income. Yeah, 50% income across the whole the whole galaxy. I, and technocracy as well, so plus 1% happiness for everyone working in a lab. I mean, if we could aim for, like, three labs, three people, 9% happiness, it's nothing to sniff at. It's a lot of mm -hmm. lot of upkeep, but it's not great. I'd be hoping that we'd unlock some more late-game tech here. Maybe through Forebear Runes. Okay, so not to get ahead of ourselves, but where are you planning for the goods factory to be built? The well, I was actually thinking that this might be the prime place for it, mm. but it's contingent on something being mineral out here. Actually, it's not. What am I talking about? Because we can just mineralize. If we are going to mm -hmm. go for Xeno tourism and mm -hmm. um, and mineral seeding, ice ball, desert, and lava planets, we're almost certainly going to come across a desert, lava, ice ball planet around here, and that could be oh, yeah. our mineral planet. Okay, so uh, currently we have that remnant planet that we're hoping to feed its uh, its output of the microchip. Is yeah. that still wanting to go into the swamp that's behind the Forge World you've got open? That's a great that's a great question. I mean, it could. Well, it, it are, can't are do you... that as well as that Forge World feeds its yeah, good yeah, across yeah. the other swamp, right? Are you going to pitch me on this one, being a goods factory? No, no, I'm also not going to pitch that one because that okay. also has the problem. The same problem, in fact. This one, being a goods factory? <laughs> I mean, we haven't taken a mission yet, I would say. We're, we're fine for... Actually, think does robots... that one to the north not work? Because the goods would go across and across, right? Yeah. And then... But it would, yeah, no, be that the, works. it would be the microchip connection that would interrupt the yeah. wheat. That would interrupt the wheat coming across here. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. That, that's why that's why I thought that one wasn't gonna work. Okay, got it, got it. Um Well, I think this just means that we have to make a decision here, right? Because this is too early for us to be planning around here you know, what we're gonna do with hyperlanes later. Uh and I think, this is gonna yeah. be like a, a very important kind of production call for us. Can that Forge World actually connect to the currently established uh swamp? The, uh, sorry, this... the fourth one in the bottom left. Yes. No, I, I, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I did. It's bottom left. The the one that you had highlighted before. Yeah. It's, yeah. It can. Okay. I, I, I think this um, is the one because yeah. microchips, we don't necessarily know if we're going to be able to get water here. There is nothing that gives us water at all around here that's confirmed yet. This is the second output for the, for the chip once we get to the advanced mm -hmm. levels of construction for the goods. Plus, it allows mm -hmm. which goods to go we have here, to here, and here. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, I think, for me, this is this is the one. Uh, I think. How about we do a little bit of scouting in that area, see if we have like an easy mineral input for it, because it is going to need minerals to go into it so that we can succeed the mission. Otherwise, we're not making two goods. So, okay, that's a five banger there, and, and then, then a that's four a across. I like if you can get both. Yeah, that's a four banger. Okay, I think we can do both of these. Okay, we'll do that one first. That's can't reach. Oh, that's criminal. Come on, <laughs> that's that's mm -hmm. awful. All right. Okay. And then there. Yeah. That that ice ball. Ice ball. I. This is this is okay. Yeah, but in order to complete our mission. We need to do this now. It's true. You're not, <laughs> we can't. You're not wrong. We can't mineralize that just yet. Which I think this might mean that we do have to take a different Forge World. Uh, here's a pitch. Mm -hmm. What if we make robots here, and then make goods from robots? Okay. Okay. Well, that's still... It's not going to reach. It's not going to reach up to the jungle world. I'm thinking, like, how can we preemptively 
prepare like robot production facilities in order to aid with Sano tourism and stuff later on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Commissions are still the same. I like so. it. I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to think here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, it, so if we did live in that world, the problem is we, we can't have everything be the complete ideal, right? This is a game of trade-offs. So if that Forge world is making robots, then suddenly the easiest thing for us to do for wheat is take one of those bots, put that up in the swamp that we were previously going to make a colony, and then that is making wheat, right? Out of robots. So then yeah. we've got two utilizations for the robot coming out of that, and then the wheat can go across the other farm. Um, the, 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 there is a pretty big downside there, which is like the Forge world that's going to be creating two goods has only one adjacent colony, which is a pretty hard kill on wanting to do that. Mm. So I, I've gotten halfway through explaining this and I've decided we shouldn't do it. <laughs> I, I still really like the idea of making this a colony. I, I really do. It's going to be a little bit tough yes. because microchips will be will be scarce, but we could always turn this into a microchip. In fact, that's perfect, actually. This could become microchip later on. Supply mm -hmm. to jungle-like, supply to swamp-like. Yep. And then this is robot. This is robots into goods. That's two. Yep. Let me actually not do that. That's really stupid to do. Sometimes the missions can change in a little freaky way. So are we are we determined that this is what we're after? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I still have reservations about where we're putting the goods planet, um, just because I really want to try and get it incorporated into the system fully. But yeah, I think it's I mean, still going to be those two regardless. It, yeah, it will be. It will be incorporated into the system fully. I think. I mean, we could. I'm trying to think if we could like map it out now to get another colony up and running. I mean, we could do it. We could do it. And we've still got this wheat planet to connect up as well. So there's there's a pathway here. There's a pathway here. All right. I'm I'm going to just map it out. Tell me if you want yeah, me to stop. It. We can... Um, there we go. Uh, we're going to need to get wheat here, I guess, if we want to actually suck yeah. in the goods. Also, we need to get that water. We didn't even We didn't even consider that we need water here, don't we? Huh? We, all oh, right, that's successful. become successful. Yeah. Um, hang on. Hang thou on. Hang that thou is uh, hanging. Could you, could you look at that jungle planet in the bottom right for us, please? Mechanized harvest gets a biomass. Can that connect to the primordial? No. Hmm. Can we see how close it is just to make me mad? <laughs> yeah. It's obstructed so, by like a whisker. Um I'm furious. That's so um, irritating. I'm absolutely livid. So that would have been the solution perfect, right? Because yeah. that would have been the water goes across the remnant, the <laughs> biomass goes up, we've got we would have our extra colony set up this year if that was one inch to the right. Um, yeah. so yeah. my proposal is that we uh <laughs> we build a death star yeah i think that's a great idea i mean is there any i don't think that we have any movement tech no no unfortunately not we do have mass lensing but that would turn it into a slipstream relay which would work but oh, also yeah. you know that's very very late to fix a now problem yeah for sure for sure okay i i just wanted to, i just wanted to check that out uh I think it has to be this it one. It looks like Gaia World is probably going to yeah. have to be it. Yeah, exactly. But I really need to know more about that location for Gaia World to be good. We're also probably not going to do that before the end of the year. Maybe we do a couple scouts here, right? I think we Just do. set up the new year. I think Bottom left Wait. near that Gaia World so we can see better utilizations of that would be really good. And also, yeah, exactly. If we could scan up in that top right um, somehow. Yeah. yeah, let's... I think maybe here because that's... Do it. Or maybe that is a five banger. It's slightly better, I think. It's not the two high sources, but maybe. What do you uh, think? Yeah, go, yeah, go for the fiver. Oh, wish screw you too, wish, game. Wish I didn't go for the fiver. That was miserable. No kidding, right? Tray Miserable. 
I, I think we now just need to take the three to the south. We need something near that earth like. Arctic. That's... I can't even connect to the robot factory. No, it, it's, it's a two-way trade with the Gaia world, right? Oh, it is actually, yeah. That's true. Yeah. But, it's just, it's now hanging a wheat source as well. But that's that's a later problem for us. I think it becomes a colony, the Gaia world, beco or Earth-like becomes a Gaia world, and then we connect those into the system. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, good. That's excellent. Yeah. That's, first of all, that that is great news. That is really great news. I just want to, for the, mm -hmm. the sake of connecting things up, I want to just check <laughs> to... Before you check the missions, yeah. Yeah. It's just 13 income, and that's up from... That's up from six. Mm -hmm. How far are we from expansion of the galaxy? Uh, we'd be we'd be one away after we take this planet right here. Okay. Um. All right. I I think we check missions and then and then we can do that if we mm -hmm. want to do that. Are there any asteroids? It'll probably take? tell us that Vittori wants us to establish a lab studying something, right? Yeah. yeah there you go. There you go. Yeah. Honestly, that's easy to do. We are going to cripple our economy. Mm -hmm. But we will do it, Rhapsody. Mark my words. I'm I'm all in I, on this play, by the way. I like I'm backing you to the hilt. We are all the way in. I, I love it. I'm 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 all aboard. I can see on the board already one opportunity for a two-way trade, and that is the the Guy World's colony establishment we'd said previously. Yes, That's only one sure. though, right? Many of the other two-way trades that we would be looking at would be things like establishing an ocean world colony that is also near a mineral to try and farm, um, which may tie into our other quest, but how many other things will? It, there's fewer two-way trades when you're playing with a lot of non-organic materials. That's another um, two-way trade. Which is really there, unfortunate. Uh, no, it's not. What it, am it, I talking it, about? Yeah. It's not a two-way trade. Ignore me, please. It's all good. It could um, be if we which, produce biomass here, but we shouldn't. It, it, it makes me feel like your, your idea of the northern forge world becoming a, uh, a chip production facility. Yeah. Is pretty good because if that's a forge world with a chip production facility, as soon as it gets a rock, that's Silthid's mission complete. You're Although thinking about really taking... all we need to care about. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I, I was going to say you're thinking about taking Silthid. I, to be honest, it never really crossed my mind because I think this would give us the great injection of cash that we need. I think we're going to get it naturally, and uh, to be honest, I think we're going to we're probably going to get them I... in, a, in round about the same time scale. Maybe. I think that's I the point know. where I'm contesting you is I don't think we get the top one naturally. I think especially because while we're going to be artificially building to try and do the southern one as quickly as possible, right? That's kind of the, the idea of the, the build that we're going for. Um, and if we are doing that, then it's just the ocean world colony and it's the Gaia world thing uh, that, that we have that are ways to establish two-way trades. Um, there aren't too many more, unfortunately. All right, so we're taking we're taking we're taking these two then. Well, or right, or or, or what about we it? We just really <laughs> we've got to study a, in a lab for four <laughs> science. Um, or we're just okay with finishing the Aphorian mission later and just being happy with the Aphorian mission being quite a good one, right? For the eighty gold, the injection of cash. It's just, I feel, I, I feel yeah. like we complete Silthid much faster than we do Aphorian. But if we yeah. just prefer to have Aphorian around, we can wait. We don't have to do our third tier mission for a year or two. We're going to get the Silthid mission as part of our expansion, aren't we? We're going to get it before this. I, I, see the, I see the point you're making. I think, so, I think, yeah. I think this, is the, this is the play here for sure. Yeah, cool. Um, is there well, a mean, world? We know where the lab has to go, right? Yeah, like here maybe? I'm going to need you to locate that. Sorry, like, uh, like here maybe. Bonds up exactly. Yeah. Um. Is do we just do it right now? Is that I? I think we do, but I think before we set up the the lab itself, um, we loop the wheat into the system and the good into the colony. Do we? Because we we. 
Oh, we're going to need money while we're setting up this lab. And currently, we're making half as much as we would I mean, if we loot that back into the system. We kind of don't, though. I mean, mines are cheap as chips. Oh, I, I, I fear we will soft lock our money. But I mean, the the counter the counter pitch is that I mean we have two planets. I think. Okay, that's first of all a terrible place for a lab. Anyway, um, you you kind of see where I'm where I'm driving at. What though? what idiot told you to? Yeah, I, I do, I do. It's um. I don't this is, I don't think this lab placement's gonna work. I think it's gonna have to be here. I I don't, I don't know I don't know. I, I think you've... Yeah, that's... that That's starting to look about right to me. There you go. That's and three. We just need one more person or uh, one more ore, and the ore could possibly come from that remnant facility. I um, hate to see it, but yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, we so, don't have the cash. <laughs> we don't have the cash for it. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 what I'm saying. The, the, re the reason why I really like that idea was because it would be very close to not going over the top of our planetary cap, whereas now getting this is undoubtedly going to give us a little bit more sustenance to to chow down on. Um, mm. But it's... But it means that we're one away from the cap, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, um... You want to just connect to that forebear ruin for a laugh? Kind of do, to be honest. Kind of, kind of yeah. love it. Oh. <laughs> oh, indeed. Number one, I have an apology to make. Last episode, I said that you can only get the energy uh, from Forebear Ruins if you have Bacar. You can get it with Silthid. I was right. I I retroactively do not accept your apology, but uh, there you go. Um, That's totally fair. My apologies again for <laughs> not having accepted my apologies. This is kind of pog. You know what? I'm actually, unironically, I'm like Aphorians is up there. Mm -hmm. Aphorians is up there as yeah. like it, genuinely very useful. It, it 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 genuinely is to me as well. I I wouldn't be entirely sad about that. It's also worth noting where that is placed. Two energy isn't actually hugely helpful. Like it's it's fine. Yeah. It's the energy is always good, but we've actually got that in a position where two energy doesn't give us that much. Yeah, I know. We could have connected up. We could have connected up the forebear ruin first. But I mean, to be honest, it would still be it would be too far away. Uh, and yeah, yeah, we need we need cash. We need cash. That's the the, the problem there. Mm -hmm. I, I love a good cash injection. I think that makes it a lot easier for us to now start going for the lab pretty hard. But we need to figure out where we're getting the fourth science from fed into that lab, right? Yeah, agree. Agree. Um, I would love it to be a second person if we could do that, but we only have one source of people right now over this side of the galaxy, absolutely. least. Or actually yeah. in general. <laughs> yeah, and we've cut we've cut this route off. So, I mean, if we did want to get chips, mm. it wouldn't be impossible. In fact... Yeah, we could definitely get like a little loop here for for chip production, but that's gonna take a mm -hmm. while, and Which... it's gonna be three, three things. So that would complete the silted mission. Yes. Which very true. would then unlock the ability to actually turn the Forge World into energy instead. Which, it, look, it's that it's would be not our wheat. The world's worst thing. That would be our wheat, it, right? It would the be colony. the wheat, and then it could even be oh be the wait, biomass. no, can't give two. Yeah. Wait, no, it can't be. It's out of range. It, How is that out of range? So, that's so rude. How is that out of range? <laughs> it, it's it's actually better that it can't be that though, because otherwise, how are we getting the people from the swamp world into the ore lab? It's a good point. It it's would a, be cutting that point. off. It's a good point. Well made. So at least we don't have to feel too sore about that. Okay. So uh, we have um, until the end of the year. I, do, I think we maybe skip actually. I think we skip to the end of the year, or do scavenge, or or do whatever. I don't think we do scavenge. Though, Sca but. Scavenge takes no time, so I don't think we need to do that right now. I think we actually need one more scan. I think the scan needs out to the right there, if you can get that four banger. Yeah, there's a four because banger there. Because if we get... So that's like information on possible biomass. That's information on possible wheat. That's information on possible people or possible minerals that could be looped into the system to try and get the, the ore lab there up and running. 
Yeah, can and then I next just, year's uh, about building an ore lab. Can I just see how long this this construction route is going to take? Go for it. How much it's going to take? Uh, all of our money. Literally all of our money. Yeah. Okay, so it, it, it's not going to make a difference whether we spend three now or whether we do that over the course of two years. Okay. <sighs> well, at least now we know that we can't rely on that side doing anything for us. At all. Um... <laughs> oh, don't rush to do us any favors, game. I think now we skip. I say that, but this is this is this is good. I... This is fine. I, I'm actually very okay with this situation. Can you see if that swamp can connect to the northern forebear ruin at all? Uh, it cannot. Okay, that makes sense. No, I I like this. I like this though. I think historically we've been very. Not necessarily afraid, but we just haven't like realized the true potential of Forebear Ruins. Like they can be so good. I I, I like yeah. it a lot. Connecting early was a great call. Really, really good call. I think it's a lot easier to connect to them early when you recognize that they're giving you two science as well for having done so, which yes. for the longest time I just didn't know. I didn't know either, yeah. It's uh it's crazy. Uh, okay, we can finish this silted mission and we can do it kind of on the cheap if we skip now and then we do this, 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 that gets us the silted mission done, right? Mm -hmm. If you Doesn't... get the person down from the swamp, you also successful that, getting us some more money. Oh, you, uh, that that makes that a lot harder to do, friend. No, it's fine. It's it's coming from here. It's coming from the, the, the jungle. Was that not always the plan? So the jungle, oh, the jungle's becoming another, oh, right. Yeah, that was, that was kind of always what I was. Okay. Okay, I, I like it. Uh, and it's it's connecting wheat from the energy nowhere at the moment. Energy. Oh, from oh, we are going with the energy. Well, that's what I that's what I assumed. Oh, okay. I I I didn't think we were doing that anymore. I hmm. Okay, how how do we do that best then? Actually, hold up. That's our dude. That's our second person. For the lab, mm -hmm. I didn't yeah, even. Th oh, that's I, why I, I thought you were designing it. All right, we're on completely different pages here, but apparently we're reading the same book, so we're getting somewhere. This is <laughs> this is great news. <laughs> Love this, that turn of phrase, my man. This is great news. That that was completely original as well. So there you go. An orbital original. An orbital we original. Be so blessed. That's right. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. We need to figure out what lab placement gets those two people as well as two pieces of ore in. Maybe. Oh, God. This, yeah, this is going to be an absolute pain in the backside to find the right the right millimeter. Uh, this is no, actually not... going to work. You got it? Okay. So, it, oh, draw a line build. from the swamp yeah. planet, the one that's connected, between the remnant and the mineral straight through the middle. See if you can connect through, like split the line between them. Yep. And then make that just a bit longer such that it won't. Perfect. And wow. then the lab goes there and then it connects the person and connect the, yeah, you can see what, I don't need to. I, lo I love it. The only problem is that that's going to be a very expensive couple of, um, couple of slipways. Very, very much money. Hmm. I mean, many cost. Maybe we do return to scavenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's mm -hmm. here's the thing, Which... right? So we're in we're in November. We don't necessarily have to place this planet yet. Unfortunately, mm. we have already hit the threshold, so we're going to reduce our income. That's not necessarily the end of the world. We can take this asteroid if we want to, because it doesn't connect up to anything else useful. Unless we're going to mineralize this, I don't think it's that worthwhile. I think that six is better. It sucks, but it, okay. it is what it is. Um, we could think about scavenging and we could just rely on this, sorry, this area providing wheat somehow, miraculously. I just, I'm so aggrieved. Like, the, how is that? I mean, mm -hmm. could we not p pass some, like, intergalactic zoning law about not allowing planets to be, you know, along key trade routes or something? Yeah, just, exactly. Just a little I... nudge. A little nudge. How about, how about they just give us zoning permits to be able to build that anyway, right? 
It's, yeah. it's fine. Half of our wheat is going to rain down on that mineral planet. That's fine. As long as half of it gets through. I do you know, apologize. Pablo Escobar had <laughs> losses to rats eating his, his money. It's fine. Exactly. Still tycoon. I, I do apologize, but we're going to have to bulldoze your planet in order to build an intergalactic highway through here. Uh, there is nothing that we can do about it. It's just going to have to... <sighs> so frustrating. <laughs> oh. So frustrating. Okay. Uh, I think we could skip the end of this year, but uh, I think we collect some asteroids. I think we collect that one. Maybe we could scavenge. I don't know. How lucky do you feel? How lucky do you feel that we're actually going to be able to get wheat down here? Because if you're feeling lucky, then we can scavenge now and pretty much be done with the lab. That's a lie. We're going to need way more cash. Uh, we can almost mm -hmm. be done with the lab mission. Oh, that 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 was one that was getting looped in for some reason, right? Yeah, this is this yeah, is gonna become that was, a colony. Yeah, that's gonna become a colony, which means that can feed the person over to the other place. Oh, hang yeah, on, hang true. on. Do you have the ability to rewind such that you have five months left? You can rewind the whole year. Okay. Can we look instead? Because it doesn't matter if we finish the Sylph admission right now. No. Could we look instead problem. at creating that colony and then connecting that to the uh, the mine as well? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, although we might just be a. Oh no, we're we're fine for cash there actually. I actually prefer this a lot. That's an eighteen banger right there. Yeah. That allows us to fix that problem. That's 12 income, dude. And that basically takes... That's, yep. that's the same income state as to where we were. Yep. <clears throat> uh, I don't think... This. I don't think there's a way... Yeah, there's no way that we can get that down before the end of the year. That's okay. That's frustrating as well, but that's okay. I mean, look, there's... There's some hope that we can provide wheat out here. In fact, can we? No, there's no way that it connects to that four-bear rune. No, I'm I'm on another mm. planet, apparently. I like this though. I think this is a better I think this is a better play because it keeps us in the same ballpark. Do we actually straight up just take this asteroid, skip I think we the can, remaining yeah. month, and then just proceed with Plan Delta? I do like Plan Delta here, yeah. Okay, good. All right. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Do we need to do that now, though? I'm just thinking, do we need to colonize this? So do the... We, do we do it? Uh, what, uh, what do you mean, as in... Can we get the lab I, down I don't understand this year? The question. No, is the answer to that. Um, can we get the lab down this year? I don't so think we would we have can. to colonize three different things and build a lab. It's right? not even we need two ore and a person. That's not even the main expense. It's the freaking 14, 14 buck uh, slipways that's going to cause the biggest consternation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, we I do think, have the yeah. 36, right? That's just sitting in there. And we've got the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, if we're building this infrastructure that you're currently tracking along as well... We have a, another 12 banger, that yep. little asteroid yep. betwixt the two. Yep. And then when you get that mine to the north, that's also going to be a two banger, I imagine. Or actually, that the yep. yeah that, that could go all the way across to the remnant as well. Maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I've, I've figured out what it is, and I think you just did it at the same time yes, as well. Yes, yes, we did. We did. Yes, we saw it. Yeah. Yes, we saw it. So that's, do it. Yeah. yeah, okay. This is a much better. Or rather start scaffolding it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that I've started, and now I I I finished. Um, this is a much better. <laughs> <laughs> this is a much better use of of space. I think like it's just yeah. better because I mean this remnant world can't go anywhere anyway. It's not doing anything productive. The only thing that it could reasonably be doing is feeding robots into the Arctic farm, and even that is like a very tenuous use case for yeah usually a really good planet type. Um. Does that newfound knowledge 
maybe cause us to rewind and not place down this world here and instead maybe see if we can get this done this year so the idea is we get three ore in from oh no 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 oh it's still the colony okay it's it would still be the colony I like the colony, right? Because the colony is the solution that also allows us to loop in the Sylph admission to finish this off. And yeah, it's, it's extra six there as well. Extra money here. Uh, I, I don't think we can get the lab down before the end of the year, though, because October, November, December. So we have three months left. I think you're, I think uh, you're right. And I think we do yeah. this. We do this. Yeah. And then maybe that's it, actually. Uh, September... Uh, you might be able to colonize the the uh, microchip production facility in the south and then connect that in. It takes... Oh, great shout. Excellent shout, in fact. And that's perfect. That's super perfect. Okay, because that allows us immediately to do mm -hmm. this. Very important. Then this. Then this here. I think that's the place. Boom. Boom. It's okay. It's okay. We planned for this. Mm hmm. There. Rhapsody. 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 I've, My man. I've never, never <laughs> felt better about our usage of asteroids than in this moment. That was so smooth. That was so smooth. Oh, that was brilliant. Oh, that was wonderful. Mm hmm. Ah. Oh. And the music changed just to, you know. Pog us up at just the right <laughs> it moment. Knows. It knows. Uh, okay, all right. That's opened the door to so many things. Mm -hmm. uh, but mostly just one thing that I'm interested in, to be honest. I'm exactly. still, I'm still interested in Xeno tourism. I'm, I'm so glad to hear you say that. One of the reasons that I wanted to go with the Xeno tourism as soon as I saw that it was a possibility that we could start drafting into is because the last two times have been mid-run suggestions to start moving in its direction or abandonments of moving in its direction, right? Um, yeah. Largely, I feel, uh, from you. And I love doing Xenotaurus stuff. I think it's really, really cool as well. Um, so I'm not putting it entirely on you and saying, you know, oh, we're, we're doing this build specifically for you, but I thought it was a good opportunity to try and get this on track. I'm so glad it's come out. I, I yeah, it's it's good. I think that there is a lot of money to be made in uh, in the Xeno tourism mm -hmm. business. Uh, the only there definitely is. Now we we have the primary Xeno tourism thing that you'd mentioned before. That that up left, yeah. we've got yeah, we got that unlocked. Got rocks and moxie, and we'll be rocking some brand new socks as soon as we can sit these down. Yeah. Yeah. The it's problem ten... is going to be getting. Sorry. It's ten. It's a lot of infrastructure that we need to build up to to get hmm. to that point. You know. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't think it's too far from us though. I don't that think that swamp yeah. wants to become a colony anyway, right? Yep. Yep. And it wants to become a colony, which gets the good from down south, which means it also needs wheat applied in. Mm-hmm. Uh, the problem with the wheat applied in is we still don't have a way to get the biomass in there. There is, like, that one that might be able to be connected in. Would that actually be able to reach the primordial to the mid-strength planet there? It would, mm. but, I mean, I... It's a very expensive scan at the moment. I can guarantee you right now that it will not be a useful planet. Like, I'm just... I don't want to get your hopes up. So, like, let's just expect that it's going to be completely trash. Yeah, it's it's not a throwaway three credits on checking that at the moment kind of situation. It could be. It could be. I mean, if you feel if you're feeling that lucky, then you know who am I to who am I to not want to roll the the dice? Could it connect up to anything in the top left? No. No. Yes. <laughs> no. No. Yes. I love that you connect to one at maximum range and then go, okay, it can connect to that. Let's check the one that's that and a half either further away. I, I wonder look, if you can connect to that. You have to be prescriptive, okay? You gotta you gotta make sure you gotta make sure you check all the possibilities. Okay, I mean look. It, it's optimistic. Like what it. are we okay, we could we could take the cash. And actually, you know what? I'm could. not super against that. Maybe we do a scan, hmm. then make a judgment on what we on what we do sure. with this rare room. 
I don't feel too sore about that. Um, is there any way that we would be able to connect that colony and the the forge? Like, that's not a five connection right now, is it? No, it's, it's a seven. seven. Is there? Well, hold on. There <sighs> might be another asteroid somewhere. Well, Not the asteroid way. would take us to the new year anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, no no chance, unfortunately. Uh, should we look at missions, actually? I don't think that we're undoing from this point. I think this is really good. Yeah, let's look at missions. Hmm. Well, we're about to get three more microchip production. Yep, for sure. Import hubs. Can we have a look at the map for a second, please? Okay, so things that are about to become import hubs, possibly. This uh, tourist resort, guaranteed, will become one, at least. Yeah. Colony. It's very, very true. In fact, Colony definitely will become one, so that's yeah. two. If if it meets its two base, which is still yeah. a little hard for us to do, right? Because we still yes, need to get yes. wheat into that yes. somehow. Absolutely correct. Um, let's, let's look at some of the things more established in the galaxy at the moment, if you don't mind. Um, the bottom left, the Arctic. Could that possibly connect to the remnant we all already have in the facility, the um, the successful one? Uh, the Arctic. Could this connect to that one? No. 25, 25 no. Okay. So we can't make that an import lab with an excess person. We can't make it an import lab with an excess wheat. Uh, sorry, an excess uh, water either. That's not going to happen. Mm, okay, so those those aren't good opportunities down there for us to make imports. So it, it, it is just the ones we've mentioned, the Xenotaurus things that are likely to become import hubs. So we have two possible, or quite likely, yeah, to be two real, guaranteed, import hubs this, up in that direction. This will grow. This will grow to another good. So that'll be, that'll be the two goods there. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, and then this one maybe could conceivably become. If this, yeah, it could. Hang maybe. on for a second. Sorry yeah. to run Go. us across the other side, but so that that forge bear that we were previously looking, uh, sorry, forge bear, uh, the, the two different words at the same time. Uh, the forge world that we were looking to, that is north of our current system, the one that was going to become a chip production facility. Yes, this one. Yep. So yep, yep. if that became a chip production facility, it would be carting the chips across to the swamp colony as well mm -hmm. as to the xenotourism facility on the jungle. Yep. Uh, which start mapping out the kind of like uh, web of, of slipways in your mind here because then we've also got that jungle connecting down and that swamp connecting down to the forge world in the south with the goods on, which yep. means that planet in the middle exclusively needs wheat and it can only get it exclusively from that primordial planet, which means yep. we need to solve that primordial planet before we can solve everything else. Because those will only become successful and even take the goods that they need if we get that extra weed in there. Which to me says we do need to scout that one single banger sitting by itself and hope like heck. It's do we need do we need this to to establish though? It would be nice. Yeah. We need it to use the second good, but I'm not actually sure that we necessarily need need it, if that makes sense. Because uh, we just need the person for the tourist resort, right? I mean, obviously, in an ideal world, it would be it would be great to do. But what I'm saying is that if this isn't a good planet, does that really negate the entire strategy? That's a good question. Because we do we have hyperlanes? I think we yeah we do have hyperlanes. We do. We do have hyperlanes. So. Well, I mean, we also don't have anything nearby that would be able to hyperlane to it. We we do have relays, though. Or we do have the option of relays. Did we get... Yeah, we got additional level 2 technologies, one per race. So mm -hmm. there's more room for well, growth I mean, in level 2. No, no, no. That that shows us more options initially. Oh, it, doesn't it doesn't allow you to buy more options. Oh, well, that's a little sad. Yeah, which means, like, still extreme miniaturization and then the one after that are going to be fighting against things like hyperdrive, slipway, relay, you know, solar super com uh, superconductors as well. Okay. All right. You want to, you want, you want to, you want to go for it? Yeah, two banger. I don't want to, but I think we have to. <laughs> I'm mad. 
It's <laughs> I'm I'm furious. It's so good as well. Is there any technology that we could take? Well, a slip solar fire would actually do it. Yes. Yes, that would absolutely do it, Raps. That would be super useful. This is, yeah, we could, in fact, there's a colony right there, which takes biomass and wheat. Yeah, which means we would need put a second yeah, person yeah. into the Gaia world to get it to pop. Um, look, I'm not against the idea of doing the, the slip as well. Um, it's worth noting solar superconductors, if we are going to take that in the second level, solar superconductors can already turn a uh, desert planet. So maybe we don't need mineralize Arid. from mineral seeding as well as solar yeah, farm. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going away from mineral seeding. We, we have yeah. a high a high number of mineral planets already, and they're actually very well positioned, like on the edge of our system, which means that they can be. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't even necessarily need to be well positioned. They're already there, but they just happen to be well positioned. Mm. I can connect that up to extent. Yeah two cash. Is that even worth it? I don't even know if that's worth it. Well, I mean, we're probably taking the money from the Forge Bear Ruin this year, right? I think we are. I think we are. How far are we from the new size of Galaxy again? Far. Three planets. Mm -hmm. That's not far. <laughs> uh, that's not too far, but we're not going to reach that this year. Remnant Planet to Prosperous. Is that going to happen anytime soon? No. Not at all. We have... Actually... No. Not it's the import-exports that are a problem for that, right? Because we just saw that we can't make an import hub, which means yeah. it has to export that and then suddenly also become an import hub. I think yeah. it's import hub and the Vittori mission, what it's worth. I'm oh, sorry, not the Vittori mission. Sorry, the Silthid, you're right. I, yeah, yeah, yes. I'm, we're, yeah, yeah, we're on the same page this time. I am... Um, I think, we, yeah, I think we just take him. We'll just take him now. Yeah. It's fine. Agreed. Okay. I think we, I, th I think you were right that we can do that whole system up in the top left without having the extra wheat. Uh, I, I do think at some point we do want to still loop the biomass in there to get the wheat because it's going to be so much yeah. extra money when we. The do reason that. that I, the reason that I say this, let's let's sort of work through this. Just I'm going to take the cash just so that I can have a little bit of cash to play around with. We have seven Go income at the moment. Okay. The extent that you get cash. The extent that you get cash from uh, uh, Xeno Tourism is just huge. Like, that's 20 income for basically nothing. You freaking... I can't believe... Okay, it, it, might not be, it might not be actually occupied. I. You're right. You're right. You're right. I, I'm sorry. I, I got ahead of myself there. Uh, so, look, that's... That's 19 income. We haven't even satisfied the chip requirement. We haven't satisfied the chip requirements. I... I just... It's just so much money. Like, that's the thing. It's okay. just so much cash. Uh, I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, we can connect this up as well. It gives us 22 income at the end of the year. We'll be able to found this next year as well and connect that across. Is that... Mm. Are we giving up the energy, though? Are we giving up the energy? Is that... Is that I what we're we have at? To. I mean, where, where's the second energy even go there, right? It, to, for usefulness' sake. Import, it can import go hub. somewhere. Eh, that's true. That, yeah. It would make an import hub out of that. But we need it to accomplish many things at the same time, not just one or two. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think Which I think is, is I why think I, I got so yeah. stuck on that that forge world sorry the the uh, swamp colony being successful because I was like this needs to do everything. Um, yeah. But I think everything else is doing everything. Really? It's just a piece of the cog. The thing is, though, if we have the money to build labs beyond belief, then we can just, uh, what is it, resource suppression or whatever? What's it? Uh, mind control? We can just mind control anything that's <laughs> anywhere that's unhappy and just make everyone pretend <laughs> that they are living life to the extreme. Yeah, no, and that's no problem for the things that don't need to give extra outputs. Yeah. But the things yeah. that do still need to give extra outputs, we can't for sure. do that with, unfortunately. I'm, I'm with you. Okay, or, hey, um, as we as we study things in level two, we might unlock level three resources that give us better things that we can do like that. So, 
Yeah. Are, are, we, are we skipping here? We're, we're skipping, right? Well, we, we have, have no, to, yeah. We have no cash. <laughs> All right. Machinery writing. Maybe? No, it, we're definitely taking slip amplifiers, aren't we? Do we have to? Have we a... Have to. Have, have a quick look. Um, if if you take the brain machine interfacing, because yeah. there have been patches, I just want to see if you can put that on the Xenotaurus facility. You oh. can now, but it's trade income that gets increased oh, by that, not nothing. the income of the planet. Exactly. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so that's that's not really an option for us. Mm. I yeah, I think it is. Maybe it's fires. mass lensing. Hear me out. Maybe it's mass lensing and we just put the right planet next to it. Converts the mass of this planet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> mass lensing is not the, the trade to. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, it could be, though. Like, we could slip. We could turn this into a. Yeah, so this can connect here. So this well, I mean, can become we, a. We do it with the, the lava, right? Uh. Oh yeah, I, uh, yeah. I didn't even realize that connected. Okay, that's easy. That's an easy connection. That, that's kind of pog. That's that's a way for us to utilize those without mineral seeding them. Yeah, it's also just. Would it help out here? Maybe actually, there is a way. Yeah, yeah there that gets to an there extra. <laughs> Rhapsody. I think you might have just. I I never considered it because it was so absurd and such a niche a niche use case. But uh, I think I kind of love it to be honest. Like I think I'm, it I'm really the way. glad. And it look it gives I, us it gives us slipways as well for like tier two means that we don't have to take slipstreams. Wait, does it actually give you that tech? Yeah, Lensify converts the mass of the planet into a slipstream relay. So it, no no sure, it means that we, we don't have wouldn't... to take it. Sorry, it means that we don't have to take it. Right, yes. Yeah, because we don't want to focus on Slipstream and Hyperdrive because that's a lot of money, um, which you know, could be possible, but then also time. It's that too. Um, that's not a great yeah, decision. Yeah, I, I, I like, I like the right Lensify there. plan because it's actually up next year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I like it a lot. Um... I, I, I don't like the idea of colonizing this and then feeding it in because it just wastes money and it doesn't actually solve any problems at this moment in time. Um, well, uh, it, it'll it'll be a little bit of trade income, but it can also hook into the, the colony. Can you see when you hook it into that as well as the uh, colony, does it do okay? Yeah. Oh, we can do them both this year. 24. It gets so us that's, two that's income. just doing it faster, right? It gets us two more income than we had previously, but it sets that system up. Yeah. Um, although, what are we doing with the rest of the year, right? So oh, We can't even... There's not even an asteroid that we can use to, to pop. I see that's... I kind of want to... I kind of want to scan this area so that we can at least... Yeah. Find out robot-wise. I mean, maybe we do... Maybe we forgo two extra income this year, just so that we can scan twice. Well, I mean, if you're doing that, then disconnect the the Forge world entirely. Yeah, because it's it's parity on money, right? But we're gonna be wasting months this year anyway, so do your scanning first. Yeah, I, suppose I, right. I do like scanning yeah, yeah. out to the left. Yeah. All right. What do we think? That's a five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to include that one that's yeah. between the. That's not bad. That's, That's a, five. a five banger. Yeah. Uh, is there any way that we can? That's maybe better, and then we can do. Yeah, I think two scans will definitely cover this all. So we do this one first. Okay. Nothing. Perfect. <laughs> what is it with Forge Worlds, dude? Is it maybe? Are we playing Silted? Does this automatically populate the galaxy with more Forge Worlds? Is that like it a... It may well do. Is that a... I didn't think that there were such a thing as like class perks or whatever. But... Mm -hmm. There might be. Okay, I... Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know all those seeding rules. This is nice. 
This is nice here. Agreed. Hmm. Yeah, there's there's something there's something here. There's something for everyone. Fun for the whole family. Fun for the whole family, indeed. Uh yeah. Okay, we need to hit trade hubs as well. And we will get one trade hub. Two two trade hubs with this. Uh no wheat source though. Actually, that comes out of Lensify. Yeah, that, that comes out of Lensify. You're you're bang on actually. I was just thinking because hyperlanes as well, that's something that we'll be able to get. Mm -hmm. I think we might be skipping here. I don't think that there's anything that we can do substantive this year. Uh, so the things that I would want to do before the end of the year are things that uh, remove uh, resource shortages for us. So if we could get wheat into any of the planets that are lacking wheat at the moment, that'd be nice. Don't think we can. Nope. Next thing. Can we get... Uh, or into the Forge World down in the bottom left. Eh, not without creating additional problems. Nope. Uh, hmm. Well, that would do it. That would. And also, and there's nothing got, there. Yeah. Oh, Poggies, yeah. That's great. Yeah, exactly. This this gets us towards that being prosperous really soon, but then, you know, if we're just hanging a person as well. Like, oh. Yeah, although, I mean, maybe an asteroid to take as well now, which would be kind of nice. Good use for the year. Good use for the rest of the year. I'll, I'll be honest, that, um, that lava planet that's sitting right there, I'm yep. trying to look for an option where that swaps to become a colony. Right? So it becomes a colony so that the person from it goes to the Gaia world and then it makes a two-way trade. So it's a colony that either funds off of water. So it could be the arid world that's in the top right at the moment, uh, top left at the moment, sorry. Um, because then that's a two-way trade with a person in the uh, water. Wait, sorry, wait, um, this to become a colony? Yeah, and so world. Lensify would trade. Oh no, Lensify is not the swap wraps. Yeah. yeah. Ding dong? <laughs> not transpose. We I don't think we have transpose actually in this. Uh... In this yeah, it is Vittori. It is Vittori, though, so you're 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 right with that. <laughs> uh, ignore me. <laughs> I mean, really, the decision the decision is: do we like this now, or do we not like this now? Because it is. Well, I mean, it, it leaves us even, but it, it gives us the ability to prosper that planet. Yeah, I, the, yeah, you're right. It's necessary. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna take the asteroid, and then I think we just save our cash. And then maybe if we're very fortunate next year, we might have enough pennies to colonize this and then prosper this planet, which is going to give us Omega income, potentially, maybe, hopefully, if we're lucky. Perfect. Could you uh, put a couple more conditionals on that, please? Uh, I feel like it's too certain for my tastes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we cannot, I don't think. that We just do not have enough cash. Hmm. And also that would take We're us over the We're only just threshold. lacking. Yeah. But it, it, it would also take us over the threshold as well, unfortunately. Hmm. So do we have another setup year for it then? And if we do, maybe that slipstream is like a, a bit too much to connect this year. I think it is. It's four income. Yeah, okay. Do, do we want to... I mean, why don't we, why don't we check it out? Because mass lensing is going to definitely cost money. How much does it cost? Mm -hmm. 20 bucks. So that's, this is an impossibility this year. What about slip amplifiers? How much does that cost? 15? Would that be enough? That would be enough. It's five cheaper. But I mean, we still can't connect Diddly up here. It's still... Yeah, still can't do anything. Uh, I like Lensify better. Because yeah, same. Obviously, it's cooler. Obvious. It's also something that we haven't used before, right? Exactly. Exactly. So I I do like Lensify this year. Um, I I I also like. Oh, this is yeah. This is this is gonna cut a little. Um, I, I like a plan where we spend this year and next year both setting up the primordial to get an extra wheat, that extra wheat to go into the swamp, 
the swamp to become successful. All of these are just ways to increase our money so that we can then do things better without having all of the decreases to our income as well as the uh, extra planets we would have to populate in order to go for the prosperous for the uh, Xenotourism world at the moment. Yeah. So that'd be, you know, the, the Gaia world and then the, the Lensify and then the connection between the two and you know, so on and so forth. That Lensify, yeah, that's that's a ship relay. So it's negative one. We don't want to trade that until I, we is it? specifically want to do it. Yeah, I don't think it is. It says oh, it's it a structure cost. But then our income remains the same. You see that? Huh. Structure upkeep. Is that a bug, maybe? If I skip to next year. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, maybe. It, it does apply. It, ah, uh, okay. it only applies at the end of the year. Yeah, fair enough. That's good. So it we saves have one... us a month. So one, yeah. one could be worth a month if we're skipping at the end of the year or anything like that. But I don't think we will. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, is there any way that we can maybe... No. It's just the the pro I, the the reason. I mean, it's necessary. It's so necessary, but I I hate it because it's so expensive. I mean, that's a sixteen mm. slipway, and then there's another, I don't know, what seven slipway over there. It's so much money to 16, connect. Sixteen sevens twenty three, and then the lensify itself yeah. is another twenty, so it's forty three to connect that into the system. Um, and then yeah. obviously there's the one between the primordial and the swamp as well, which is probably another eighteen. Yeah, that's uh, twenty. It's the full, the full shebang. That's that's sixty-three. And of course, as soon as we hit our next planet, we're gonna bump up to the next level of admin. Are we skipping here? I mean, we're definitely skipping here, aren't we? There is no I way about it. Uh, I don't like it, but. Hey, it's it's not the earliest skip we've ever done. We were doing so well, though, in terms of, like, keeping on top of our finances. Everything was looking great. But the, the, Xenotourism mm -hmm. is such a large investment. I mean, the, the, the slipway yeah. length and then the, I mean, the hanging planet, basically. It's... I, yeah. I don't think we're too far from going really, really well here, right? Because as soon as that uh, swamp is successful, it's... Yeah, it's among so many successful things, it's it's got the good ore going into it. It's just everything pops with that getting it successful here. I agree. I agree. Uh, what is it? This one. Oh god, we can't even. That's an excess weed as well. Well, that's that's why I was thinking this could become a colony fairly mm. soon, and in fact, feed yeah. back and then two-way trade. That's um, all good. Do we, I, do, I, I don't think we do this. I think we skip again. That sucks to say, but like... We're going to hit our threshold. Yeah. Yes. Can you scaffold the whole plan this year? Definitely. Probably. Almost certainly. With the exception of this Arctic world, I think. Yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. 17 income is... It's good. It's very good. <sighs> yeah, do we maybe skip? Effect. Do we maybe skip again? Well, I mean, we, I mean, if we do that now, then there's diddly that we can do this year. Do we? Do we skip again? So, hang on. Uh, if if that nanotech facility was built, yeah, right. That's eight for that to be built. Could you track a line between it and the swamp and then also it and the, the jungle? I, I want to just figure out exactly how much this is going to cost us overall. So, well, like uh, that. Oh, no, you no, mean, no. Oh, the, this here. Four. Yeah. So eight and four, 12. Four, nine. Nine, 21. Um, also, can you get the uh, the robot into 19. there as that's well? 19. I know that's 19. Yeah. Okay, so that's 21 and 19. It takes us 40 to get that full connection to, to have all of that looped in. Um, and we're on nine right now, so we would need another 31, which would be two years worth of skipping at this point, unless we undid everything. Is there maybe a pitch where we actually take this as a colony right now, connect up the forebear ruin, 
damn the consequences and then sort of work no. around that? I really don't think there is. Let's, I love the see. gumption, but I think all we are exactly one damn the consequences away from losing. Is that better? I think. Hmm. I mean, that gets part of the system complete earlier, and it also yeah. me like it's not that much less income, right? It's four more, uh, four less income, but we get this system completed earlier. Yes, that could be yes. reasonable. I'm not against it. Yeah, it takes us over the threshold as well, which is it takes us over the threshold, and we're still able to maintain 18 income. That's it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Also, I didn't undo the slip. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. I don't hate it, actually. I don't either. I don't hate it. So now we need to figure out how much it would cost to loop the rest of the system in, right? So it's the thing that we figured out before. Um, the guy world is five. Oh, sorry. I wasn't yeah. even thinking about the Arctic no, yet. I, I, I was just thinking about successfully no, linking to the other one. I'm just sort of prepping out cool. other um, stuff. So it's five for the Gaia world. And then the connection between the Gaia world and the slip relay was four or four, seven? Yeah. Four, yeah. 17, four. So 21, 26 total so far. And then it's the 20, 20. across there. So it's 46 in order to complete that full. Uh, oh, no, and then it's the connection between the Swamp and the Forge World as well. Um, so 46 plus whatever the Swamp down to that Forge World below is in order to make Four. the kind of root system. Okay, so that's 50 total that we need. Uh, so that's two years. Is, is there a world where we leave that hanging for a little bit? No, because it's so much money that that system starts to produce. It pops a Prosperous. It makes two things much closer to Prosperous. It gets the extra uh, good let's, going let's, into another colony. It's Let's test it. I mean, it, it, this is where we are yeah. right now, right? So, 51. Happiness is dangerously low. That's fine, though. That's fine. What are they going to do? <laughs> depose us? <laughs> so that's... Are they going to depose us all the time? <laughs> Maybe. So that's where it takes us. It takes us to 36. Wow. Up from 24? Was it? 22. I think it was 22. Um, Plus it enables the, this, the, this, this. It fixes so many problems. One of the problems. I, I it, it fixes a huge amount of problems. But one of the problems it just introduced is uh, we need to get an extra person out of that swamp planet. Otherwise, it doesn't go uh, successful. And if it went successful, then the... Wait, could that even pop Prosperous? I don't know if it could. Uh, yeah, it needs a second export. A lab? Is yeah, a lab? it's Hector that... It, 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 where, what's it going to study, right? It can't study people, it can't study wheat, and it can't study goods. The three things it's adjacent to currently. Chips with hyperlanes. Sure, chips with hyperlanes, but that's still yeah, with hyperlanes, right? It's a while away. Although, how far away are we from hyperlanes? Very far away from hyperlanes. Yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah, this is where we are. I mean... It's... I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a great, a great strat, but it takes us two years to get here. Is it... Is it possible to... I also don't I'm, like the two years we spend getting here, and I like it significantly less now that the small actually, planet is not popping successful. It's actually three years as well if you consider the build time. Uh, one more. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's this connection here. Now it actually takes us from 18 to 36, so it's a bit more than... I originally anticipated. Hmm. Could you uh, look in the northmost area for us, please? Yeah, here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also just thinking, did we not have... 
yeah, happiness is uh, happiness is going to be a problem. We're about to hit the threshold. Yeah. That's 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 okay. Like we can fix some of the shortages, um, just to keep ourselves limping along until we can fix the rest of them with more yeah. permanent solutions. Um, the fact that we now have Lensify means that anything in the top can also provide its uh, its source of biomass down to the primordial instead. So that would be like any of those in the four that are undiscovered up north. You want to you want to try um, that? I I kind of do, but it also does mean we're just wasted. You know, the twenty on the other slip wave lensify, and also you know its ongoing costs. Yeah, but we shouldn't get you know caught into like a sunk cost fallacy or anything like that. No, but... I'm not. That's not a problem. I mean, uh, um, uh, there's nowhere else that we can get. What I'm also thinking of is if there is anywhere else that is adjacent to a four bear a forge sorry a forge world that could also perhaps link up with a colony in order to get a one two combo for the level two uh xenotourism because i think that's like the best bang for the buck it's the it's level one and level two mm -hmm. and so well it is as could... long as you have a plan to then later get them to level three yeah, I mean, uh, my, the prosperity my, as well. my later plans are basically all hyperdrives. Uh, mm. I, I think we should scan that three to the north, uh, four to the north, wrong. Four to the north. All right. Let's do it. Uh, wait, lensify asteroids. Yeah, we can lensify asteroids, dude. It's true, but it's about as expensive as the other one. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh... Oh boy, that's a that's a toughie. Mm -hmm. That's a toughie. That's a toughie. What about? Hold on. What about if we forget the, forget this plan for just a second? Getting the level two of Forian mission completed. Is there another way that mm -hmm. we can go about doing that? Okay. Maybe something like this, or we just we don't have much intel to be honest. We've we used pretty much every single planet that we've come across. Yes. Uh, while we turn the, or rather, if the swamp tries to become a successful colony. Uh, that is one import hub that we're establishing yep. there, right? Yep. With the wheat and the good. Um, hmm. So is there a way that we can to establish one? A way that we could complete the silted mission? I mean, we could increase production by a single chip here if we connect yeah. up or. Then from, what we would want after that is like the forge world over on the left of our. Yep. Um, Xenotaurus getting a ore from south, and it would create three. That could connect across for just more trade income. It could also connect to the south Forge Worlds. Again, yep. more trade income. Yep. Um, also makes another robot by doing so. Yep. Uh, so Is that better? Because that gives one. us cash. Gives us a little cash and some science. Sorry, yeah, hit me with your weird play. Uh, that, that, um, that ice ball that's in between everything. If that were lensified, we could get a microchip across from the remnant lab into that, uh, into the primordial. Oh, sorry, to the yeah, to the forge yeah. battery there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, which also gets the extra bot. Doesn't really have anything that it can do for us at that point, though. Hmm. I was, so that's that gets it set up for an import hub, but it would also need an additional microchip or an additional ore from somewhere else which means it can become an import hub if we do the previous plan because then yeah. we'd have a microchip coming in from the north which solves the silt admission and mm -hmm. then a microchip coming in from the other side which gets the import hub it's just you know that's two import hubs still and then the third one still wants to be the swamp right and that's that that's our big sticking point how are we doing that is yeah that yeah, for sure. There's 
nothing that we can... Yeah, freaking biomass, honestly. Is there anything? Solar superconductors, is there a way? Ah, there is a way here, actually. Hold on. Solar superconductors will get in two years. Mm -hmm. Arid desert mineral planet. Mineral planet right here. Boom. In there. Maybe. And then across. Or do we... Wait, hold on. Do we get two outputs or is it just one from a single chip? Uh, I believe it's... I'll, I'll test. I'll test. I'll test. Yeah. I, th I think it's two. I think it might be... Well, you can't... I can't even do it, yet, so... Uh, it's one. It's one anyway. Yeah. We need robots too. So solar superconductors are... Good, but also not the play here, I don't think. I mean, no, yeah. I we gotta... We gotta make... Uh, we gotta make a decision on how we're... On how we're handling this. I mean, it's either... Skipping two years to do this... To do uh, to do the Gaia world thing, or There's a lot around that area. There is a lot around that area. I yeah. I'm. We also haven't discovered a single ocean world planet this entire run. How 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 mad mm -hmm. is that? We've been unfortunate, but hey. I mean, here's the other plan. Do. We could, um... Happiness is a little it, it dangerously low, but that's fine. What if we, um, briefly, like, scaffold the... The plan here. Mm -hmm. The, uh... Oh, God, we're not even gonna have the cash for this, are we? Yeah. That's okay. It's because Lensify is super expensive. Lensify is pretty darn expensive. Okay, I mean... Is it 48? Do we need to skip another year in order to get to... Uh, we worked it out to be 50 to connect the full system through. But it's also going to take time. So as you're setting up the system, you may roll over a year and just get more income. Yeah, that's a good that's a good shout. The other problem is happiness, right? Like, uh, we have... From this year, we have three years to get happiness above 70%. So we'll solve it, two It'll get above shortages. 70. Yeah. Okay. Could, could you actually hover over our money for a second? I just want to see what's taking all of it. Planet upkeep, administrative costs, structure upkeep. Okay. Okay, so we need to skip right. an, another year before yeah. we're able to do this. Okay, look, I think this is the best play. I, well, actually, no, I don't think it's the best play. I think it's the play that we need to make, and I think it's the, the one that we've been able to identify as least worst in this current circumstance. So that's where we yeah, are. We're above I, 70. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like that. Least worst works for me. Trade Trade-offs, yeah, exactly. I think we... On, our, well, on I ironically, mean, we have... Sorry? I, on ironically, I think we pushed a hyperdrive here to, like, another couple of years to try and get a lab to study microchips. That That's my suggestion. I'm, I'm not against it, um, but I think now we put ourselves in the position to do the other build next year. Right? Because uh, that will finish both of build. our other missions. This build here. Mm -hmm. This this build here. Yeah, I think that's that's a pretty darn good idea. Although, yeah, that's that mineral planet is still gonna also need a mineral to loop back into the forge world. But we are making that Arctic into a a colony. Uh, yeah, yeah. Into a colony. Yeah, because it wants to feed both of those. Thirty seven. Does increase our income a little bit. Love it. Yeah, okay. That's that's fine. Happiness is still okay. Great. Happiness is above yep. seventy percent. Great, we'll mm -hmm. finish the next two missions next year. Um, what about if we just take skill implants? That pogs us up to 51. Is that worth? From what? From 37. God. See, the thing is, money is really important to us. What's a skill implant say exactly? 25%. Trade income. Ah, uh, but see, no tourism. Oh, listen. Isn't trade income, but we have a whole other ass galaxy that is trade income. Um, 
the the only problem is we you know what level two techs are we gonna get right that's that's the competing condition so let's have a look at the level two techs for a moment we've got three techs we can get here hyperdrive yeah and then the reactionless drives and stable are both level three right for the hyperdrive uh yes definitely both level three whereas the two miniaturization or the one miniaturization tech uh is level two so we can take both levels of extreme miniaturization and something else or we can take another combination oops uh, or another combination well it'd be both extreme miniaturization and hyperdrive right i think that's the play but then again there's something you know like quantum computing is is really pretty legit we don't have enough labs we don't have enough to labs to quantum just computing. but we will be getting a second and actually you know what i was just thinking we already have the the preconditions to get a uh a chip lab in this vicinity yeah like literally I can't, just, like literally here just the money just the money yeah okay well we're in december anyway so i don't feel too bad about skipping on mm -hmm. and then maybe we'll have enough pennies to do that the other Is this, well, does the, this become a colony? I know the other option uh, is the lens, Lensify here, but I mean, that would solve both of the problems, actually. Like, a, a colony here would be there and there. Sure, but it, the, the thing it doesn't solve is the import hub. Um, we, we do need a person down in that area. Totally agreed. Um, we might try and find it through something that's a bit easier for us, if possible which might require some more exploration. Um, yeah. But if you connect that extra ship just straight across to the Prosperous Planet, could we see what... Three, plus three income. income. Legit. Yeah. Definitely uh, worthy. Okay. Because, hey, it's possible that what we end up doing is, like, hyperdrive is how we get the person out of the swamp in order to make it actually pop. At this point... Prosperous, actually. Um, uh, well, actually, no. Uh, one, two, three, three four. Two. Yeah, it would need one more outport as well after that. But actually, no. But the, the hyperdrive could easily get at that. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, look, exactly. Right. So it many be trying to hop across there. So many places. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's probably cash. that. Like that. That might be a problem that's fixed in two years by hyperdrive. I here's the thing. I really want to take extreme miniaturization, but. Is it actually going to get us anything? Like, is it, it, is it good? So it, it will eventually, right? The thing that it'll be really good for us uh, is it has the ability to produce all of the resources that are required for um, yeah, for the Xenotaurus facilities. Yeah. But the downside is it is a structure and then it's structure costs as well. So we have to shore up our money before we do that. And build um, time. We're still in the process of yeah. shoring up our money, and I think that starts with the hyperdrive, and then afterwards it's uh, extreme miniaturization. Yeah. Person. Okay. I think we're. Well, I think we're skipping. I, th I don't think there's anything else that we can really do this year that would. Uh. So the only thing that I would finally pitch is two scans up in the top right, because we are gonna just start building around yes. that. Like, look at that area. It's beautiful. There's a five. There is a five there up to the left. And I there really is a, there like is definitely it. a five. No, it's it's yeah, it's the one there you go. Because that also is near the Arctic facility, which is also going to need Oh, there we are! Hello, it's, friend! Where are you? Finally, been? finally. Uh is that is uh, it's not a great uh, okay. Alright, I'm just thinking. No, it's, it's not good for us right now, but it is there. It is there. It is there. <laughs> This is, I think actually, maybe that's preferable and then we can get, oh, come on. Really? Really? Can you get a, f no. Yeah, yeah with, with this one, yeah. No, okay, I, I think this may be best. Yeah. Nothing that I really like. I think that we've we've run our luck with Forge Worlds, unfortunately. 
But, mm -hmm. you know, at least here, look, mine, uh, colony, right? Don't know where we're getting the wheat from. Actually, we can... All the microchip. The mi Well, the microchip would be uh, an extreme miniaturization microchip. That's, oh, right, that's of what course. I was going to... And so, it, you know, the goods. That, that's what I was going to pitch. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. We're, we're skipping. Okay. So, the Lensify option. Boop. Boop. That doesn't get us the extra mm -hmm. microchip. But it well, does get the us extra microchip is insane Sorry. cash. Insane cash, actually. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay, we we have literally we this year we can do literally anything. What what do you what do you feel like, Ramps? What what do you think? Hmm. Well. Hmm. There's an extra. We, so my I most say, yeah. No, go for, go for it. My most primary leaning is going up into that top right, building the Arctic facility there. Um. Okay. Yeah. So. And once we've built that, we could even connect immediately from there to the Forge world. Ah, hold on. No, it's fine. That 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 is a connection that happens. It's just it doesn't give its uh, biomass over because it needs two people to make two biomass. Of course. Which possibly happens in the future, right? And that connects over there. Yeah, everything yeah. kind of is normal so far, right? Um, yeah. Although. Maybe instead of sending that person over just for a moment, you connect to the forebear rune. Because if you connect to the forebear rune, we get two science immediately, which gives us the ability to get hyperdrive up this year. I, do I? Is it weird that I prefer this connection first and then that? Because I have a feeling that this is probably going to become a colony at some point. I, I don't know why, but I, I just feel it. Uh sure but that person still probably ends up going across in the other direction anyway so i suppose you're right all right let's connect up let's connect up the four bedroom i like this a lot are we happy with where we are mm. do we need the way the way that we finish this mission is if we if we colonize this person there up there yeah we need to get another lab down as well like that's something that we need to do soon yes but that's that's going to be like a hyperdrive solution lab for us right now we don't want to have to yeah. colonize a whole new area and start building a new infrastructure for labs that's just a bit much for us right now so we want to utilize what we have excess and that is a lot of excess uh microchips yeah yeah you're right you're right okay uh let's connect this up let's just do it okay what do we got mm hmm Energy, pay 30 to energy. Is that good? No. Yeah, it is. Is it where? So look at that Forge World that's uh, currently creating just one chip. Yeah. If that got one more ore, it would create another chip, and that extra chip would give us a completion of the mission for the uh, silted mission. So that's that's one benefit you get on that side. And then the other benefit on the other side is the biomass is already fulfilled for the Arctic planet. And then that's just got an extra person it can send out to the Gaia world. The Gaia world's no longer, like there's no resource shortages over that side of the galaxy anymore. It's true. It's true. It's true. Also, Heck, we have hyperdrive it, it, here actually. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying, right? Getting getting that connection gave us from 28 to 30, so we can use hyperdrives this year. Which is also kind of why I was thinking that maybe, maybe the money is... Because, I mean, 30, 30 I, cash I, is... I think we're in the realm where our money now comes from making money. Like, that's what we've been building up to this whole time. Our science is garbage. Our, uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of the things that would be predicted as success are rough, except... We have great money-making potential. I feel yeah. like taking a small payday right now instead of using that money to fix right. the problem is is cart horse. Now, I will say, before you make that connection of passing that one over, we also yeah. have the option of using that energy instead 
uh, in the Arctic facility specifically, we make a colony that gets the extra person into the Gaia world. The Gaia world actually does give its extra biomass to the uh, the Arctic facility, and then we use the energy from the Forebear Ruin as a good in the Arctic facility instead. Because it's going to be hard to get goods in there. Wait, hold up. So this becomes okay. a colony. Well, something over there becomes a colony that feeds into the Gaia world, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you. Uh, yeah, God, everything's just so trash here, isn't it? I mean, it's a two-way trade if the um, if the arid world in the bottom right does it. It is a two-way trade, actually. That's the end of the year. I'll, I'll undo that in a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's... And then you would connect that to the, the Arctic that currently exists? Yep. Yep. And then it would just be simply a case of throwing the energy as the good in the Arctic world. 44. 44 to 41. We pass up on three, uh, three income. A hundred percent, no. Now time matters to us more than three income. Wait, you said two contradictory statements there. We don't pass that up because time matters more to us than income right now. Well, uh, sorry, don't pass up is in do not pass up the opportunity to turn that into a colony. Early. Yes. Okay. Yes. That, sorry. That's yeah. I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. So there we go. That's great. Good in there. Successful. Excellent. I... I think we should get a... I think we should get a lab. So we, I think we should get a lab. We we can do it that way. Full stop. Okay. But it's also worth noting that if we do fix the, the requirements over on the left-hand side of the galaxy... Um, then we don't even need that and we can leave a floating energy. So it really comes down to, do we want to look at the new missions right now and start working towards them? Uh, leave, leave a floating energy for now. That seems, that seems reasonable because this is kind of easy to fix if we... It's not kind of easy to Getting fix, the actually. wheat over there is rough. Yeah. Even the water, I mean... That will connect, but it'll only connect with level two hyperdrive, which at the moment we I feel like we don't have the velocity to connect up. Could extreme miniaturization something? Um Maybe it's That's worth actually scouting? a good point. Yeah. So uh let just before you do that, I, yeah. I think we probably should do that. But yeah. before you do that, where would we put this microchip lab? Right? Oh, see, to try and get yeah. as many microchips from all around the galaxy as we can. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Um can't be here because we used the last lensify option. It's probably like yeah, sorry. Uh probably like here. Mm -hmm. It gets us to immediately. And then it gets us to immediately thingy, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. And then a miniaturized thingy. And the miniaturized thingy could be the thing that completes the Sylphid mission. It's just that puts it very far away from us. Uh, does Do it? We... Does uh, it well, it? yeah, because we have to hyperdrive as well. I mean... Because otherwise, how are you getting any resources to that middle block other than the one person? That's true. That's true. That's true. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. This the, uh, this uh, this line here really really torpedoes us actually because otherwise we could bring in we could do it on this side and we could put a, a thingy here. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. It is a it is hyperdrive hyperdrive necessary. I mean, either way, I, I still think this is a pretty decent scan out here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Agree. If we hit. This three banger here, probably. If this is anything that's colonizable, then this is great. Or it could be nothing that's colonizable. That's also, you know, deeply frustrating and very sad. I, I, Tell you what, it's an easier way to get wheat. Uh. Yeah. Kinda. 
Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't even be looking to solve it yet. I, I wouldn't even be giving it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> never mind. It's out of range. Yeah. Uh... It's an interesting. It's an interesting one though, because like there is something here. You know, with the lensify, lensifying the lava planet. There's like a one, two, three, four. Like that does actually. It takes freaking you know two other planets to make it so, but it does work. Could lensify the forge world as well. I mean, <laughs> it's possible. I'm not entirely against that. I just, there's got to be something that's just better to colonize up here. That's what kind of frustrates me. There is a scan there, but I mean, that's no guarantee that that's going to give us anything decent. Even colonizing this and then hyperlaning across is not great. Uh,. Certainly not excellent. I mean, we could... This this will work, I think, as a level 3 hyperdrive thing. But, I mean, I doubt we're even going to hit it, to be honest, at this point. Yeah, why don't, why, don't you click, why don't you click hyperdrive for me for a second and see the kinds yeah. of connections we can make with that. It's a good shout. I mean, the lab is is one, which is, which is excellent. The length is... We can do that right so now. So that can... Yeah, that's a prosperous and a successful. Good money. Can't afford that. That's okay. That's two. It's two, but it does prosper it. Yeah. Um, and I think there's a, a better asteroid to pop for that if we are going to do that. I, yeah, yeah. I was just testing. Just testing. Um, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. We don't even get hyperdrive at the moment. I, I I like hyperdrive so much though. Really? It's so. Good. It gets a successful and a prosperous immediately, and it's something that we are gonna want to get along our path. Like because extreme militarization is just gonna be very expensive to do anything with at the moment. You know, we maybe we just do. loop that energy back into the system and get the missions. Yeah. That's before un unlock, go back, go back, go back before you do it though. Yeah, that's that's that li that's literally exactly where I I'm yeah. at to be honest. I think we do. We're finally, finally on the same wavelength in the same slip. I say finally, like it's not relatively common still. <laughs> All right, so that's the that's that's that done. Let's look at the missions. Yeah. Two way trades. One more Forge World planet. A lab studying biomass. L M A O is what I have to say to that. That is Orbital Potato's official comment on the matter. L M A O. Mm. This is easy. Lads that's a given. It. That we we have a route map for that happening, right? Literally, super one, easy. Yeah, one hyper hyper lane away. We aren't biomass gamers. I think we take the Euphorian tech, and I think we're really actually quite happy to have to take the Euphorian tech. And the reason for that is because it will decrease the cost of the hyperdrives. Yeah. Okay. So then, hyperdrives. We. Yeah. I think. Good. Yep. Uh, does this give us cash? No, it doesn't give us cash. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to get a lab? No, it wouldn't be possible. Actually, no. Tell a lie. It might actually be possible for us to get a lab that and that. This is one science right now. Uh, which okay. I don't like. I don't. I don't like. I, I'm just sort of thinking I, in I, terms of cash. Yeah, that's that's a very expensive one science, and it moves it further away from other things that would then be contributing in later. Yeah. I mean, the ob yeah, the obvious one is is that finish the mission, mm -hmm. but then that still leaves us with a whole bunch of two way trades that need to be uh, that need to be done. Hey, two way trades aren't impossible for us, right? Let's look over in the top right of the galaxy in particular. That Gaia world. Baby, if that ain't... Oh, hang on. That's on full exports right now, isn't it? Yes, it is. As in... Can it, mm. Hold up, actually. 71. Okay, that's, I'm interested. This is... I didn't... This is now imminently viable as a place when we get extreme miniaturization, which we will get not... Not next year. Um, but it's very viable Maybe next now. year. Maybe we find a forge bear or something like that. A forge bear, a forge indeed. Bear. A forge bear. 
Oh no, not the <laughs> not the <thing>. <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh. I like it though. I like this. I like this though. Um mm. we don't have to do it. I mean it is actually a reasonably cheap play though. I mean what does it cost? Cost is like twelve. No, it costs more than twelve. Uh what's ten more than twelve? Twenty-two. That's what it costs us. For plus five income, which I'm not entirely against. It also makes the uh, the adjacent asteroids much better. Yes. That, um, that my hesitation it, yeah. would be, my hesitation would just be how far are we to the next size of the galaxy? Two, two planets away. Takes us kind of close. So after we set this up, we have four energy, uh, sorry, four gold, and we also have three months left in the year. So we can send out a scan before we do this to try and help us decide if this is right. I and if right. we can get a four banger over on that right side next to the Gaia world. Oh, you tested that a bunch of times. Yeah. It wasn't a four banger in any way, right? Um, how about if you try and incorporate the one on the far left there? So like it, it'd be, uh, just, sorry, just down. Down, down, down. It's down, either across. it's either this one or this one. Hold on. I mean, oh god. Uh, it's in this I think area we, of we do. I think we do this, and then we just. In fact, actually, hold up. That's that's not terrible. Yeah. And then we just do a two banger. Yeah, do that. Now, is your forge bear? That's literally forge bear. Literally, <laughs> so many. Okay, I think we now. Okay, first we got to do. We got to do this. We still got to follow through on this because I. I actually now no, no, really. No. I really like this no, as a tourism world. Now I think that's great. Oh. So do I. But you have exactly enough money to set that up as a tourism world this year. Oh yeah, you're good. good if shout. you if you do another scan, you can't do it anymore. Uh, it's a very good shout. Also, asteroids. Yeah. We should just... I think we should just roid up this year. That one. Then that one. That takes us to the new year. Look at this money! It's taken us a while, mm -hmm. but we're there. I mean... Lab? This, this year, maybe? Maybe. I mean, we have we are so science poor. It's we are, we are, and we definitely oh. need it. You're not wrong. Skill up. Oh my nice. god. You're right. We 100% need to start focusing on science again. Okay, is this? That's okay. Excellent. Good. That's out of range. Um, it, hmm. Hang on. Could, could you lensify the, the middle desert planet down there for me and see if that's in range? Hilarious. It is. Can't it afford it. Is. It is. Oh, it's not going to get <laughs> One enough. shot even with that. <laughs> okay, I, I well, think, that's the next year plan then. I'll do yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's okay. I think that's okay. okay. So we have one more uh, planet to go. I mean, if I was to do this, oh, it's out of range. It will be within range. Okay. It's a little less appealing. It's frustrating, but it's okay. Not the end of the world. Can we solve any other problems now? You know what? This is this is something that we should do, even if it means that we're hanging. Like, it, this solves two happiness problems for one unhappy planet. Like, it's just straight up. I think a better trade. It's not great, but it's not not terrible. You're right. It's not. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. What else? What else? What else is is solvable now? 
I don't I don't necessarily know if there's anything else that's solvable. There's two wheat issues down in the south. Each are either yeah. individually going to need to be fixed. I mean, honestly, like we don't need extra outputs from either of those planets, thankfully. And because we don't, <laughs> maybe they're just you know uh, mind controlled planets later on. Well, that's the thing. We need to we need to probably invest in more research if we want to get mind control. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm assuming that what we're now doing is just shoring up problems that we can before the end of the year and focusing on research. I think that's I think that's the play. I mean, is there is there another research lab that we have that is that is doable? We have no concentration of things that aren't ore or um, the microchips right now. I think the maybe the pitch is robots and study it here. So we get a lab here, robots coming in from there. Maybe we find some water from from here, boosh that in there, bish that over here into a, another robot. Can that connect uh, the primordial that... to the... Sorry? Sorry. Uh, yep. Uh, can that primordial connect to the colony in the top left that you just founded, the, the arid colony? No. No, that will not. We would need to lensify the thingy uh, here, right, or actually maybe this. There could be like a little route around around the top here. I don't like that. There's only you know uh, one source of robots there that we're kind of banking around at the time. It's worth noting we are about to create robots up in the other area for the other Xenotaurus facility as well. So maybe that becomes a, a studyable area instead. Yeah, it's doable. It's definitely possible. How much is the negative for trying to double study the same resource? Uh, two, I think. Let me. I can't even check. Hold on. Uh, and top. Yeah. So it gives us one. As opposed to, mm -hmm. it would give us two, yeah, so it's two. It's two negative, I believe. Yeah, diminishing returns, negative two. Hey, we, we could actually pog up that lab there. Because it's it's got two people, it's got two ore, right? It can, it can take an extra ore, it can take an extra people. Don't know where the people's coming from, but I know where the ore's coming from. Either there or the bottom left one. At some point, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, is there is there a world where we maybe just abandon extreme miniaturization? Surely. For what? Ninety nine cash as opposed to sixty seven, maybe. Appeal. Flexible. Right, we can have a lot of expensive things. Quantum compute. The other part of me is also kind of just like, maybe we just make up for all of our shortcomings with extra better labs. Like we have a very small number of labs that do. We I don't have six years left playable, right? Um, even if we get two extra science per lab uh in order to be worth the cost of that vittori tech the 26 we would need what uh a total of 13 triggers we currently have two labs down on the board so we would need an extra lab in the next two years to break even by the time we end the game that's doable uh, for no benefit. Um, there's the swamp. Uh, wait, wait we, we need to rewind. We just came here to test the, the diminishing returns on the lab. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, I don't think that there's anything else that... Uh... I, I I think I actually do spot one thing we can do. Wait, yeah. hang on. November, December. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. It would take us through the new year to pop a asteroid right now, right? Uh, 
No. No, what? Okay. Um, connect the swamp world in the middle with the um uh with the remnant. Very good. Two more prosperity before the end of that year. Two more prosperous is good. Is good. <sighs> Solar superconductors. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at it. We have that one desert planet there in the middle. That would be able to take a uh, a chip from basically anything, right? Yeah. From the Forge World down to the right. Uh, it would have the energy coming out of it. If it wants to get a second ship, it would want a robot to be put in from the other Forge World, but the other Forge World would need extensions, so it would need the, the stable jumps rather than reactionless drive. Um, and all of that to get two energy in an area that would what then fund it over to the wheat. Solving yeah. those wheat problems is nice, but it, it, it's a long road to hoe for very little benefit if we plan ultimately to mind control those. I I I'm not sure that we're going to be able. You to You don't get think we're getting control. there? Not unless Possible. we get another another lab, Dan. Well, I mean, extreme miniaturization is sixteen. The follow-up yeah. forum it is is what at the moment for us right now? 16 also, right? 14. So we are 14. Yeah. 14. Wow. Um, which which means we're only two years from now looking at level three techs. And the it's mind true. control is only 31. If we are setting up a lab at any time in the near future or increasing the value of our current labs, we can get to mind control. I think we can I think we can do it. I absolutely think that we can do it. I don't disagree. I... Okay. Here's, here's a pitch. We use all of the output, the ore output from here into a new lab. Like here, I guess, which we just... Hyperlane people... This is going to be so unbelievably expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I want to hear this out. Um, okay. Actually, we can't even do it now because we don't even have, uh, we don't even have the second robot tech. Um, the, yeah, the pitch, the pitch would be, you know, like a series of labs, like here. Mm -hmm. Another one here. Into another, into a, a robot studying facility there, which would be nice, but... It's just too. It's just too expensive. It's just too late. Too late. This, the second problem that would solve for us though is that Swamp World could then take one of the robots and pop that robot for the wheat. Yes. But it's yes. it's two problems solved by what I'm estimating right now is 300 gold. <laughs> okay. Here's a pitch. What if we do yeah. this right, which we're absolutely categorically going to do? The downside, the major downside, is that it wipes out our cash. But then we connect up the the Forebear Ruin. I'm not against it. If we are going to do that, though, I would like to scout this area first because if there's nothing here or if there's a planet that we can lensify, then it's just free real estate if we're able to, like, lensify through through here and get a good connection sure. to the to the thing. All right. Uh, we've unwound to the point where we're happy. Great. Let's do it. Uh, that's actually great. That's... Uh, that can be lensified. It can be lensified. Yeah. I kind of like the cache, though. Could maybe lensify like this one. Cache. Could lensify this one. To what? Yeah. That works. Oh, right. Yeah, because that's out of out of range. Yeah. No base. Yeah. Okay. Um... So that connection there. Great. Then... this here because we can boop boop in fact that actually look, look, don't I'm, not, I'm i'm getting distracted here uh lensify here that in there that in there there we go okay that's good that means that we need microchips and robots none of which are going to be particularly difficult to come by because we've got roadmaps on how to do it all already. We exploit that, we move into the next year, we got loads of cash. I think that's... I think that's decent. And we can connect the Forebear Ruin as well. 
which we can do right now. Or we can rewind and not mm -hmm. take that asteroid if you want. And we can also make that colony um, take another good after it yes. gets the yes. full connect with the mine. From here, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay, I, 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 I like this. I like this. It's, let's it's let's a, have a look yeah. at that Forge Bear Ruin. It's, oh, actually, tell well, I mean, that's we, if, yeah. we can't. All right. I'm going to test the money, but I think I maybe prefer maybe either of these two, but probably this. It's uh, seven. Seven income. Seven income ain't nothing. It will take more people. Happily. We don't have more people. So you're right. It, yeah. If it, no. It, yeah. No. I, I. I know you know that. I don't. Um, I don't think we choose this until we know the adjacencies, though, because it's possible something around here is just like, you give me, a, you know, biomass, and I will pop off. Yeah. Yeah. Also, two-way trades. I'm. I've completely forgot about them. Yeah, Six. a lot of our two-way trades were going to happen over in this area um, and since have not because we've started going into inorganic materials rather than organic materials. So basically, we would be looking down to the south of that other area. Um, do we want to... Yeah, do we want to scout... Th do we want to scout this right now? Because that would be really informative before even colonizing this as a mine, I think. Sure. I mean, like, all we need to do is that becomes a mine and connects fully into the system before the end of the year, which is, like, one colonization, so it's three months. Uh, is it three months or two months to colonize something, actually? Uh, the mine is Forge one. Worlds cost an extra... Sorry, three months. Three the mine is three. Yeah, three. Yeah, yeah so I thought it was... three, one connection, one connection. So it's five months total that you need to leave. So basically, um, what, if we get to... We have time. August? We have time now. Well, that would turn biomass into wheat. That would turn that makes, biomass uh, into wheat. That makes bots... Can that connect to the swamp? Uh, no. Sorry, the rendered no. world. Yeah, no, it can't. I'm, I'm holding alt. Uh, oh, actually, no, tell lie. Come on, uh, potato. It, it, yeah, it will be able to connect with the, the hyperdrive. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's our bot for that, right? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, uh, it's a shame we scouted because we could have done. Uh, we could have gotten the bot to make the good for us as well. I'm. You see, the reason that I'm okay with this is because if we get bots here, this area becomes a bot producing, science studying research lab area. Like this is, not a bad place. Theoretically for a bot possible. Lab. I would. S yeah. Well, it's, show me where you would put up the put 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 the bot lab. I mean, anywhere really, because you've got the mine here, which would feed in, to there. That's two immediately. And the that's... problem is the mine still feeds in. So, it, unless I misunderstand the microforges, right? It's, what's the second level of microforge? Is it the just straight up uh, you can use it as like a forge world? It's or into robots. Yeah. yeah. Or, or yeah, into okay, so it is. Okay. Well, I feel, I feel better about that now. And actually, tell you what... If we put it, like, here. Then we can actually jump them also into the... Yeah, we can also jump them into the, the tourist facility here. Yeah. I actually like that a lot. I, I like that. We're looking at currently a two-year plan that does not account for the Euphoria mission at all. I agree that we should do it. Yeah. But I, I think we should just be a little cognizant of that um, so we know what we're aiming to do in the future. Yeah, you can build the Microforge before next year. Yeah. Oh, I'm, wait, what? Uh, no, we can't. No, I'm just thinking of, like, chips. No. We can't We can't get the Microforge. Um, yeah. I mean, how wait, much... How much you you can, can build, build it, it, you just don't yeah. colonize it, right? Because next yeah. year we can colonize it otherwise. Okay. All right. That's that's where we are. Uh, do we want to do we want to do 
Oh, we could actually take the science and get it now? Might be worth it. Alternatively, do we want to take the tourist facility and maybe do something? No, in fact, we can't if we want to study uh, research here. Because that'll be our last yeah, I like being used. I, I like I like the science. Yeah. All right. And then we take universal miniaturization. Cool. We take the bot fab. We take that. It's it's the other uh, microforge labs coming from the things feeding into the uh, oh, the, the old lab is is yeah. how we would finish funding the rest of that. So do we want to loop? We can't. Well, we can't loop. Yeah, we can't loop that through. So it's got to be looped there. All right, that's actually that's actually pretty decent. I I don't think that we should mm. be displeased with this at all. I, I think that's very happy. Yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely not displeased with it. Yeah. Um, I'll be right back in a couple of moments. Feel free to continue. Yeah. The problem is, the problem is now, the previously highly appealing idea of getting another lab down is no longer as enticing. And I'm not right. sure. I'm not sure. I'm just saying, I'm not sure that we really have any play to make an additional lab? Unfortunately? It's entirely possible that's the case, yeah. It, it would take a long time. It, it would take a very, very long time for us. Yeah, it, it would take a while. <sighs> and it hasn't got that many years left that it can pay off. What we can do is try and uh, boost our current labs. Which I'd be pretty keen to do. There we go. That's slightly That's, better. Yeah. Super slightly good. more optimal. Maybe if we don't connect this up. I really... I, I, I don't know. Is there a play that we can maybe find a second... That's three extra science. I mean, that's nothing to sniff at. It's nothing to turn your nose up at. We did... Uh, did we expand the size of the galaxy? Because we we tanked income there. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think we did. I think we just... I think that's just a lab. Yeah, that's just a lab. Wow. How much is upkeep? 11 upkeep. Is it progressively more expensive? No, I think it's just... Yes. Uh, yeah, lab upkeep three costs three 5. Lab, yeah. 3 for every little lab you have. My god. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's not, not great, actually. Um, that's not excellent. Very not great. This lab is nowhere near good enough, also. Like, it needs to be pogged yeah. up big time. Maybe we could also actually... Agreed. Maybe we could just sort this out right now. There we go. Totally. Extra income there. Yeah. Seems good to me. Uh... We could just do another one. We could do another facility. Oh, no. Sorry, we can't. We don't have enough cash. Connect that up there. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Two-way trades, reps. Two-way trades. Yeah, I've been thinking about them this whole time. What is... The two-way trades. Biomass into persons. That is one there, but then we need an actual wheat source for this for this planet here. Exactly. We need a consistent way to find... We need a consistent way to get them. Something that we can just bish, bash, bosh, you know, all the way out. I don't even know... 
how we do that. <laughs> curious. Very curious. Maybe, maybe scout? Maybe scout, see if we can find another, a second, lo and behold, ocean world, perhaps? I mean, I think this is a fairly good scout call down here. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like leaving that one hanging in the middle, but it really does decrease the value of our scout, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I think we I think we do this. We've got three scans right. for the remainder of this year. Yeah. yeah, I think we're happy with this. Oh, there it is. How, how great, how great. Uh, in an ideal world, though, we'd be able to get water here, but it's not necessarily the end of the world. It is out of range. It's out of range for now. We will hit the next. In an ideal world, we want to get want to get the tech discount before taking stable jumps. Stable jumps is currently three years away, even. Yes. Or two years if in the next two years we finish the a four in one, which is just not happening. We don't it's, have yeah, enough not. enough double ones. Um so let's let's think of some of the biggest opportunities oh. that exist in the game for a double trade, right? Yep. That. Yep, that people right there. uh people in primordial planets are really, really good because then yep. people water water people. You know. Um the the ocean colonies, as we'd mentioned prior. Um, rock people, people rock, obviously, with a mineral planet. Um, remnant planets are quite good for it as well. Uh, for, you know, people chips, chips people. Um, hmm. Yep, people chips, for sure. Yeah, we don't have any colonies over there oh, that do take up. chips. Yeah, there we that. go. That's two. Trade. That's a two banger. Uh... Oh, actually, for goodness sake, can... hold up. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, that's a great asteroid right now. Yeah. Okay, that's a two-way trade. That's a two. -way... Okay, we're three. We're at we're we're fifty percent of the way there. And mm -hmm. actually. Very nice. Okay, that's that's real good. That's real good. I like this. It's not awful. I like this. Uh, a wheat planet down here would be very, very cool. So wheat always makes people, but people never make wheat, which makes making two-way trades with colonies really, really, really hard unless it's the other resource. Very true. Um I mean, I people make wheat in your know, habitat and a couple other things, but that that's like mainly Dender's realm. So this is an expensive way no. to solve the problem. It's, it's not a two-way. Oh, no, it's it not. It has to we're... be able to take a person. We're out of peeps. I didn't even spot. Yeah, we're out of peeps there. Let's, uh... Yeah. More scouting, maybe? More scouting, maybe. Might be the order of the day. I, I do be your farmer. Uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> oh, it's an honest job. Honest days work for an honest day's pay. <laughs> I mean, uh, up here, maybe? I think this area. I mean, does biomass... Yeah, because... Ever Biomass makes people in um, uh, cold. Arctic colonies. Ar is it Arctic? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. yeah. Do the four and their five. Uh, four and the three, rather. Nope. What do we got? Reactionless drive skill download. Can we skill up? Yeah, we can skill up. We could skill up this. We could skill up this to link to the primordial. <laughs> it's an option. Um, it, it, yeah, it's an option. 
I, th I think it solves fewer problems than we if should... we just had increased range. We should also skill up this to to get that. Like that that is something that we could do. Um, it also could, but I, I still think we should wait for the range. So, like, an example of something we'd be able to do with the... Well, it, it feels like we've seen so many examples of what we can do with a rage, and then I can't think of them right now. Oh, they're, they're, it's great. It's, it's great. It, it's really good. We will be able to solve a lot of problems. Make a ton of extra cash. Uh, we, I think we still keep scanning, to be honest. I just do that. Uh, wait a second. Yeah. Hang on. I think I've... I think I had a brain brain boom moment. Okay, so okay. when you make a microforge lab and you put a single ore into it in order to create uh, microchips, it creates two microchips, right? Yep, yep. So there is the remnant facility that is feeding into our ore lab. The top remnant facility feeding into our ore lab has an extra ore. If that ore went into a microchip, uh, uh, a microforge that's making microchips, and mm -hmm. then one of those microchips went into the other microforge, and then the other microchip went into the uh, ocean world. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at a plan where we make the, the second, uh, second sanitorism facility prosperous, but while it does that, it also creates the robot that goes in there as well. So all it creates, uh, it costs us one structure and a couple of slipways, but we make something prosperous. Uh, we get more income, we get another two microforges going off. So it, you, you would move the microforge lab closer to the other microforge lab so that it has the ability to reach up to the prosperous or to the, the ocean. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. But this, this doesn't give us two-way trades though, does it? Like this is not... Well, no, this, this isn't a plan for two-way trades. This is a plan oh. for, for just, like, efficiency of income. I mean, you don't have to make those hyperlanes if you just put that on the bottom side of that. You're very correct. But move it, move it, push it over closer. I, I'm not... Hold on. This might be... Oh, God. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It needs to be closer to the the currently established one in order to be... Nestle. 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 Wow. Yeah. He's a genius. Um, which is nice. It's very nice. It's very nice income. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, but what's that done for us? Is, what's is that the done ultimate for us? question, right? Um, it, it gets us closer to the next year where we actually get the reactionless hyperdrives for, oh, sorry, the um, stable jump hyperdrives. You're not wrong. We should possibly not even do this right now. This is just a scaffold of a plan. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Man, I had this one. I had this one game where mm. I can't remember what it was, but I think I had like Dender Happiness Production Facilities or something. And it gave, it output happiness directly. And then I combined that with skill up. And it just immediately pogged off and just things got insane. Yeah, because skill up increases the production of the thing that's being made. And the facilities can make happiness. Yeah, very nice. Um, I will say, if you don't do this though. So if we completely remove that plan, we just know that that's possible in the future. Yeah. Um, the alternative is when we go to the next year and we get the increased length of the hyperdrives, you can yep. get that swamp planet that is making the excess wheat, take that down to the bottom ocean planet, the ocean colony, uh, yep. that gets an extra person, and yep. then that person goes and trades with the remnant world that we were just utilizing, right? Because, actually, is it even, it's not in range to do that. It will right? be. It will be in range of extended, I think. Pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, even if it isn't, then it can just use the micro, uh, the the mineral lab that's closer, right? Actually, yeah, um, there's the two, yeah, two of those, yeah. Yeah, and then it's a then it's a two way trade between those two. So it's two two way trades. We need one more. Is th do we? Okay, hit, hit pitch. We scout this, yeah. a lensify object. Hopefully, we find one amongst these planets. And then we don't have to let. 
Is there any reason that we're holding on to this Forge World? Does it matter if we I just... I don't think there can... is. Yeah, I don't think there is either. That... Screw it. There we go. That's fine, but you still have to solve the wheat there if you want that to be a two-way trade. Otherwise, oh, you haven't yeah. got an extra person. That's why I didn't... That's the before. big problem there. Yeah. Hmm. Um, scouty scout, maybe? I'm not... I'm not offended by the idea of a scout. I... It's a five banger, but it's yeah. not the. I think it, we need to do this one. We need to do the high, the high quality sources. Mm -hmm. Sure. Now, that is a two-way trade with your Gaia world. Um. Yes. But still wheat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, there are, there are robots here. There are robots freaking everywhere. I swear that, Silted increases, like, propensity of Forge Worlds in the game. I, I think be. it may do. That that Arctic world, though, that... Yes, that, that colony will take a, a, a biomass and give out a person. So that's a two-way trade. And then if we got any wheat in this area... So, yeah, every, everything is about if we got wheat in this area, we can do a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, it's just getting the wheat there is really hard. I mean... Alternatively, Maybe. we could just make wheat from the the Earth world, right? Yeah. Because by base, it gives out two wheat. Then the water from the lensified planet would uh, mm -hmm. would be a two way trade. It would, and it also leaves you with the ability to set up um, the Arctic afterwards. And we could even we could even get robots. Theoretically, here. but we do have two years left. Yeah, I know. Let like let's be realistic. We're not looking down the barrel of our higher score. Um, I don't think we are. I think. Yeah. I think one problem I've spotted over the course of uh, this occurring, and you know, at at no point when I I try and analyze a run like this am I ever saying that we did everything absolutely perfectly and therefore it can't be done in any other way and GG game broken etc blah 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 it's, that's not my style it never has been um but <laughs> love putting a butt after that sentence uh but i've i've had this same situation happen to me constantly while trying to approach a xenotourism build from many different angles the amount of input that you have to do into making your first xenotourist facility suddenly puts you on such a back foot with response to everything else it feels like if they, like, maybe the second level of them should just pay off a little bit more or, like, have just an extra uh, money production, like, after it goes prosperous or something like that. Because too yeah. often I end up in exactly this position and it really feels like, well, if I just focus on trade income and making colonies, I would have had people, science, and more money. The, I mean, like, it feels like yeah. you do everything and it doesn't give you back as much as you put into it, whereas other things just due to trade income will do better. I'm going to take this whilst we go for it. You freaking moron, potato. Oh, my lordy. Hey, um, hey, 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 hey. Actually, yeah, that's exactly. Nice. Boom. Yeah, that's good. There you go. So what's what's the combination? What's the combination that you want here? What what do you think? What do you think is best? Uh, so it would be the uh, agro world in the Earth, like up in the north. Okay. And then it would be the primordial connects in. Um, this also gives us the ability to connect to that forge world. Yes. Good. Uh yeah yeah the forbear rune not the forge world presumably mm -hmm. is what you're is what you're yeah sorry about. you're right yep all right let's do it uh pog actually this not this <laughs> this is it, this yeah we is wouldn't instant. be able to yeah that's the play I think right actually mm -hmm. it's cheaper. <clears throat> All right, that's and then I think we need to get the stable jumps. Yes, absolutely. Uh, counter pitch. Yep. I think we can. I think we can do the two way trades this year, without 
Okay. So we had a, a scaffold for another two-way trade over here with yes. the lens of fire. But that that does require the the extra reach. No, it doesn't. That's that's fine. That's the two-way trade right there. Yep. But where's your final? That's the problem. Uh, which we must be able to find one. I. I'm convinced we must be able to find one. Yeah, so th that's the two-way right there for sure. Persons into wheat biomass. There's got to be. There's got to be one reps. There's got to be one. Okay, he here's the. Maybe the hail mary play is to build. Is to try and hope that we can make lensify to here, and like ping it around. Ping it around to this planet. I don't know if that gets your endorsement. We I'm are just in September. <clears throat> yeah. Do we have time to get to stable jumps for 20% oh less this year? Or Ugh. do we just get it? Yeah, maybe we just get it. Ah, maybe yeah. we just get I, it. I, I like just getting it because we we take it and then we can use things that we already have established to make one of the two-way trades. And we can do that before the end of this year. And then next year, when we're not really getting income at the end of the year because we're just ending, um, we can then make the final two-way trade with an extra planet, increase the size of the galaxy. Who cares at that point, right? Um, so yeah. this extra gives us the ability to build over on the right. The wheat from the swamp goes down into the colony. Yeah, and that connects. Uh, wheat from the swamp. Yep. Good stuff. And... Swamp two-way trades. I'm just thinking, because, like, would we be able to get another tech? Would we be able to get mind control or skill download if we didn't... If we didn't, I don't think we would. I think we'd be like one or two science off. Yeah, I don't think there's a way that it works. Okay, I mean, now mm. we need to shift into another gear of trying to fix as many resource shortages as we possibly can before the end of the game. Yeah, and specifically the most dire ones. Yeah, this one, I think, is, is very dire. It's eight. So we've got 18%. Mm -hmm. So there's two dires, I think. Yeah, so this is dire. This is dire. Sorry. This is dire. This is dire. This is meh. Mm -hmm. Is it maybe scouting? I mean, yeah, I think that calls for a scout down to the south with the others. That is good. We can fix that for 20, all right? 20 bucks, we can fix mm -hmm. that problem. Uh, what I was going to say about your uh, Xenotourism comment earlier... I feel like we are we are gluttons for punishment, right? Because we are playing on tough mode. And uh, I've spoken to a lot of people. I mean, even Lolash doesn't play on tough mode. You know that? He, uh, he mm -hmm. plays on challenging. Maybe we should switch it up and play some challenging uh, once in a while and actually give ourselves an easier time. Yeah, I, w I would like to do a couple episodes at some point where we play on, you know, lower difficulties. I'm challenging included, but also I don't know how low we could even possibly go just to try and get something zany off the ground. Like, this doesn't yeah. usually work, but oh, have a look at what we did. We've, every year has 54 months and it costs zero to build everything. You know, things like yeah. that. That sucked hard, my man. My yeah, that was God. Bad. Uh, yeah, that that's works. that's medium. That's medium. That's medium. Yikes! Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. It's not great. But yeah, yeah, I I, th I think that would be a really exciting thing to do at some point. I don't know. Maybe next episode. Here's your teaser. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. That's spicy. All right, let's uh, that two banger. I don't know. How lucky are you feeling, Raps? We need something for wheat down here. If we get literally one thing for wheat, we're able to lensify this planet. We're able to... We're sorted, you know? Yeah. Scan that two-banger you just previously identified. Which two-banger do you prefer? The one to the south. Yeah. <laughs> How lucky now you are can you feeling? exploit the asteroid and get the three back. It's true. See? I, that's perfect. That's right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you know what? Okay, here's a pitch. Here's a pitch. Here's a yeah. pitch. <laughs> this becomes that. Yep. This becomes that. <sighs> this becomes a lens. This becomes a people planet that trades down there. And then I was thinking of lensing wheat literally I all the way across. I don't think you have enough money to do that or at time. all. Or time. Yeah. All right. All right. Revert Revert to the norm. What? Yeah. Also, one more mm -hmm. two-way trade. We still need to squeeze in somewhere. Yeah. And that would be the Primordium over on the left being incorporated, right? The one we'd seen prior? Yeah. Well, this... Yeah, the banger over here. Yeah. Can that connect <sighs> with a with a leap and leap and long slipway? Yeah. There you go. You don't even have to lensify anymore. It's ATU 20. New we missions do. available. Oh my god, maybe we can finish new missions. We, we here, <laughs> do we do that ramps or do we actually do that next year? Our income goes from 86 down to 37? Yeah, we can do that. We can definitely do that next year, right? Yeah. yeah. It's it's just that's that's the, our, our two-way trade in the back pocket. Um, for sure. For so sure, can for we sure. do anything with maybe a Forge Lab before the end of this year? Maybe we do the same previous plan, right? The, the making the Prosperous Lab up in the top? Actually, I don't think we have enough time to do that. I don't or think we have enough money to do that, rather. Uh, but we could do it next year for sure. My uh, my only hesitation is the literally 20% reduction in... Because uh, the freaking wheat here, though, that's the... That's what really grinds Yeah, that's the big problem, right? It was it was mind control was our plan for how to deal with that, yep. but yep. We, we needed more science more quickly. T to be fair, the fact that we only have two planets that are struggling is not bad. Like, we're, we're going to finish just above, I think, 100% uh, science. Because we, yeah. remember, we can always reconnect. That's a, an easy connect. Um, what about we just scout this? Hope that it's a wheat planet. Can we maybe make this a two-banger? No. No. Okay. Mutually exclusive. But sure. <sighs> really? 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 Um. Hey, we've got a lot of remnant planets here, and that's what Vittori likes. And we've got a lot of Forge Worlds here, and that's what Silphid likes. Uh, it, it does kind of feel like they are increasing their spawn incidence as a as a function yeah. of the classes we've taken or the races we're playing in our council. And think thinking about it, like uh, we probably had more mineral worlds when we played Bakar as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, my next pitch. Let's scout this. Sure. I, I, I am... <sighs> what? <sighs> well, I mean, that. look, that Primordium can just throw a wheat in there to minus our happiness from, you know, eight to whatever it will have for hanging the All right. input. This is the one, Rhapsody. This is the one. Oh, okay. Is it? Yeah, this is the one. I mean, I... That's the one. Oh, you know what's sad about this? Lensify doesn't increase your scanner range. Yeah. That's not even a great area down there. Good lord. I, yeah. I... I'm aggressively disappointed that we haven't found a, a viable system. Well, th I, I will say, we say that, and yet the win condition is get to the end of the game. What we're it's currently true. doing is get to the end of the game and also have more than five stars possibly up to five golden uh, five platinum stars if that is even a tier that exists i've only seen three 
yes, it's a uh, uh, yes. We are. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's shred some roids. Yeah. Oh god, they're not even. Yeah. They're not great, but they're, they're right, more they're... than nothing. That one's pretty good. That one's okay. Yeah. Okay. End the year. One year remains. Let's do the guaranteed banger right in, right in there. Let's check missions. Then, maybe. Uh, sure. One more remnant to Prosperous is probably not impossible. Let's have a look at each of our different remnant options at the moment to do that with, right? Let's go from the left of the galaxy to the right. It's literally this one. It's literally this one, I think. No, sorry, and is this it? one. Yeah, exactly, right? That one over on the left, that has the ability to loop that in, but it doesn't have enough successful adjacencies. It has two more import exports. That's a yeah. lot that it's asking yeah. for. Yeah. Um, could that be done? Maybe. Actually, maybe. yes, maybe. Look, see, because here, 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 successful mm -hmm. adjacency, here. Well, that does nothing. Because that it would needs mean another, another import. Which you can get. Yeah, you can loop that no. mineral planet up the north in. Time. Time, time, time. Yeah, time. Um, it, That's yeah, bloody close, though. Like, that's... It, it is close, but it would still need, you know, extra person or an extra water. Like, it's it's yeah. got a, it's got a lot. Um, what a, what there is one? that one that you previously identified. That would need yeah. a water. And then it's got one successful adjacency total. So it, it's also similarly hard. Even less likely. Um, are there any other remnants in our system no. at all? That's it. That's, that's okay. it. The other one is Prosperous right in the middle here. We definitely can't connect a new one and make it prosperous no. in time, so no. I don't think we can do that mission. How about the other ones? Uh, for robot production. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hard no. Well, how many robots do we get when we make a? Uh, oh, one. Uh, we get one robot when mm -hmm. we when we stick him in a forge. Okay, that's a no. Uh, eight yeah. pairs of. T I, I feel like this is doable. This one. That's that's what's frustrating. Mm, except it isn't. Except it isn't. The, the big problem is the fact that we would need to also get an additional person in, as well as all of the other things that we would have to do for it, right? And that successful adjacency that you set up previously, that's a great play. It accomplishes two things at once, but it's the only thing that we can do that can accomplish two things at once here. If that makes goods and you put that in, then you can also get the microchip out to there. Yeah. But then that still needs an ore. Nope. Yeah. That's the big problem, right? That's, yeah, there is just And then no after other... all that happens, you still need a person to go into the, the remnant lab. You know what the sad thing is? We can't... If we mm. could make... If, if we could make the... If we could make uh, goods from robots here, we could do this. I think. But we just can't. Mm -mm. Well, you still need to send the... Uh, the Still in November, and that would still need an extra output, yep. which is the big problem. And also, then you'd need an extra person in. It, it, it's too, it's too many things. Yeah. It just it's too many. we are you're trying right. no, to right. every you're way right. from the capability yeah. of doing it. Yeah. Um, the the forge bear, for four bear, four bear, four bear, four bear, four bear, four bear. The four bear uh, yeah. still has a robot that it needs to send up to yes, eliminate some sure. unhappiness. Uh, have I unrewound as much as I can? I think so. Yeah, so that's that there. 103 happiness, man. I just, uh, I'm so miffed that we're not, we've not been able to do them. What about we scan this planet? Maybe this gives us the, the way. Uh, this one right here, this weak signal. 
Could be the one reps. <laughs> Maybe. I, d I, d I don't think it really accomplishes that. No, I, I don't think it does either. Uh, anything that we can connect up internally that would give us some extra extra goodies. So, I mean, how, that's... Yeah, whatever. How many more months do we have in this year? Uh, six. Six. Uh, I don't know if we have enough money to do it, but we could try and still prosperous that um, Zeta Zenatourism facility. I think it might be the months that are... Way the, too expensive. Also the... That's yeah, exactly, because you'd have to use hyperlanes for, for pretty much everything, which makes it super expensive. Oh, that goes across there, that goes across there, and then we oh. would need... Oh! No. We would need nine more to be able to do it, but... You know what? <laughs> I really, really, really hate to say this, but I I think there is a version of this run that has a lot of an easier time doing things that we ended up wanting to do, and it's the run that has Bakar, and Bakar has the uh, the ore delivery gives you six perk. Because we're doing a lot of ore delivering, and especially when we're setting up micro forge yeah, labs, we're doing a lot of ore delivery as well. I think you're right, actually. The Although, you know, we wouldn't have known. Like, it, it, maybe because we got Vittori and Vittori gave us the access to the second level missions, maybe that's why we have hyperlanes and why we have extreme miniaturization. So we couldn't have known, unfortunately. It's true. I really would like to, like, just be shown all of the perks of, of the character before I pick them, especially because extreme miniaturization is so big, so impactful, and such a thing that you really want to plan around before you start the run sometimes with your perks. Yeah. Um... I, I don't, I don't think, I don't, that fits I don't think that I don't think there's anything that we can do here that would make a difference. Jagrid. Um the the, the next thing it. that we could do to try and make a difference to our happiness would be to try and prosper planets. I mean, hold up. That yeah. that is yeah that there. Mm -hmm. That there. Okay. Uh, Maybe. Does that prosper anything? I mean, it gets successful, successful it? and successful is also nice. Yeah. But, um, we can keep in the back of our mind that we have that access. Option. Hold on, can that... Oh, it's November. Oh. We don't have many options here. Nice. That, this whole time? Hmm. That's, yeah. I mean, that would be the final connection if that's it. Yeah. Um... It depends. Is it better to establish a planet, or is it better to successful a planet but leave one hanging? Well, what's the resource negative of that planet right now? Just negative one. One. Yep. And Although, what is a normal six? What? Uh, sorry. What's an established planet worth? That's a great question. I do not know, and I successful don't think successful is prosperity level plus one. So both of them have just one. The, the difference is net one happiness, no matter which of those two you do. All right. Like, I like the idea of this. I think we're going to, I think we just send it. I think we just send yep. it. I think, uh, I think that's it. I think that's all she wrote. I actually think that all things considered, that was a pretty decent run. I think we should be happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I, I'm I'm glad that we went hard down the line of, of going for the Xenotourism, but it, it does feel like we went hard down the line and now we have one Xenotourism facility and half of another Xenotourism facility's Prosperous setup. Um, yeah. It's just stalling it, it for cash. It felt like every time... It, exactly. It, it felt like every time we wanted to set it up, we had something else that we had to do, right? Uh I think it's it's one of these things where it might just not be. I mean, either you know, there's there's still more. I'm sure there's still more efficiency that we can that we can eke out of this yet. Um, oh, but like, I feel like I feel like this might just be a strategy that is better suited for like a super cash rich build or just an easier difficulty where you're able to just you know fly through uh, mm -hmm. all of the the cash milestones and there's no sort of downwards trajectory of. Uh, of like mid game cash stalling, something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, but it, it feels like, like we we had to skip after we had a prosperous 
xenotourism facility set up, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the part that I keep... Uh, I think that's actually the, the best distillation of the thing that I keep trying to point to, which is we fo focus exclusively on setting this thing up for money, and it wasn't enough to keep us afloat over the costs we accrued setting it up. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't even have a particularly loose system. It just... It was we had to colonize so many planets that it pushed us over galactic limit after galactic limit. Yeah, mm. I think you're right. I think you're on to a I think you're on to a winner there. Good news though, a patch is coming down the line. I mean we're getting closer to full release each and every each and every Ooh. week we record. It's uh it's getting closer. It's very I'm exciting. Damned excited. It's I, I I just had an idea, but I'll pitch it to you off air. <laughs> okay. All right. A spoiler. A spoiler for next time, mayhaps. Um, on that note, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this episode up. Thank you ever so much for watching. I've been Opal Potato. He's been Rhapsody. Check out links, channel, then description below, etc., etc. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Adios.